click okay momentarily we will yay verily be clickety clacketing down the trickety trackety Yesterday it was a fucking mess. The internet went nuts. Um, so I'm just gonna do it later in the day because I feel like during the day people are. Maybe there's bandwidth things. Maybe there's just too many people at home doing nothing but watch Netflix all day. I don't fucking know. But I will. Uh, duh. At here. I'm just, just gonna, like... Okay, and then we go to the link. You'll be there in like a fucking one second. Shut up, Insomniac Games with Ratchet and Clank 3. It's funny, my internet gets worse at night. My mobile data stays fine, though, so I use that. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, internet generally gets worse at night because it's like, oh, people come home, and then they're, like, you know, watching things on the internet, as opposed to doing work or school. But now that everyone's here all the time, I just feel like maybe there was a big demand for stuff that day. I don't know. Anyway, I forget what I was saying in the last one. I don't know what was heard and what wasn't, but it probably wasn't important. It was just me going around shooting shit. I got I got money now. I can buy some things. Hmm, mega, mega, mega. Let's try some of these new weapons: the suck cannon, the fuck cannon, the agents of shit, the fuck rifle, the holo holy shit glove, the dick blade gun, the quacko ray. Yeah. This is like three million bolts. I'm, I wasn't actually that far from one million. So, you know, I wouldn't be that far away. Okay, let me just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have the, the gadget yet, so let's keep doing that. <sighs> I finally get, I got that video up. I did it. But, you know, whatever. It's just this is a little vlog. How are people? How's how's people in chat? How are they fucking doing? Yeah, okay. I'll retain I'll retain the Caprea crew. Shield charger, rift ripper. That's already maxed out. And bouncer. I feel like the bouncer was nerfed. Like, it doesn't feel as, like, overwhelming as in the previous game. Uh, but maybe it needs to be the Mega version. Maybe that's what it needs.
Seems like it takes quite a bit of experience. Or maybe the things just give less experience during this, because it's... Hang on. Ooh. Yeah, the bouncer just sort of sucks. Oh, maximum nano attack, eh? Yeah, you're nice. Plasma coil, that's the one. That's another one. That's, that's a real good weapon. Oh shit, mission failed. Yeah, it's because I was using the bouncer. Things are good, I'm editing a One Piece podcast while listening to this. Who was murdered? Um, no one. Aw, oh, jeez guys, I didn't go through it. I said I was gonna murder someone, I didn't do it. I'm a bad video gamer. I lied on stream, on Twitter. There's nothing... The, one thing that's worse than a murderer is a lion murderer. As in, like, a person who didn't murder. Hello. Uh, yeah, you, you have to move the chair. So that you can sit down. Because there's the chair full of shit. Uh, it's alright, nothing much happened yet. Scott Dunn, what is the best match of trouble brewing ever? It was like, usually you have a bunch of AFKers just getting points because you get small amounts of Hey, Gib, did you actually catch the corona? Uh, I thought I did. I still don't actually know whether I did, but I got over it. I've been having some weird, like, cough stuff. So it has been getting really weird. Hmm. I mean, it... In some people, it doesn't feel devastating, it just feels like a cough. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, ooh, perfect timing, I just got home from work. Where are you going to work that is, like, uh, you know, a place? Feels like basically every job is like done from home right now. Yeah. Like if you're still going out, that means your job is like essential work. Yeah. Which means it's probably pretty interesting. Yeah, but then like there are some companies that just make people do supposedly essential work. No, but like you you can't just like like a company can't just say you know. Like, ignore 
Like the advice of the government, right? Uh, I don't know how it is from country to country, but I've seen examples in America where like a mascot character is considered a social character. I don't know if things have changed since um, but at the time. Bullshit, where like companies were definitely like fudging the line between like yeah well, but that was that wasn't that like right at the beginning where people were like doubting the existence of it like eh, it's not really a big deal mm. here, I don't know agent clank what? you're even more impressive in no, person far away you from are on the holovid you're fine Say I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do, son. Who says you can't find good help these days, right, Clank? <laughs> Sasha's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, kid. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? He has lost his memory, sir. Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... The city's <laughs> laser shield went down during the attack. Now, we are defenseless without it. I sent out a repairman to fix it, but, but he disappeared. I need you to get that shield system back online. Yes, sir. We're on it. See this? Where he never, what, like, touched his daughter? Yeah, like, he's good with his hands. Like, uh, uh, like sex hands? No, not me. Yeah, there's a lot more innuendo in this game than the previous. The last one, the innuendo was really just that Ratchet might be in love. And that was it. And Clank has a girlfriend, but... But did they fuck? How would they do that? What do robots do? Uh, Why do robots have love? Bolts. Yeah, they would Just screw like each other. They, uh, pass electricity. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy. Yes. Let's try this Blisk Dade gun. So this is like the thingy, but you can move while you do it. So it's a hundred thousand times better. Um. Kill them, can't you, with a laser beam? Yeah, but I want to use weapons that I just bought. Oh, you suck. Yeah, so they brought back the suck cannon. It looks worse. I don't like this design. Oh, yeah. But you can suck up crates, yeah. including the TNT crates. You know that. Mm. I if they, like, extra explode. My boy. Hey Gib, cool neurotype video. Uh, thanks. You make a neurotype video? It's really just a neurotype vlog, like, um. In response to like did you stuff. Yeah, um. Cause I, I don't know. I don't want to reiterate it right here, but like I've been thinking of uh fucking stuff and things. That's all. <laughs> I've been thinking of stuff and things, and that's all I can think of. I'm not a word person. I am not a lexical thinker. This is something I have figured out. Yeah, I, I definitely felt that frustration. Um, I haven't watched all of the DJ's videos on the whole lexical um, thing, but all the other things. But um, I remember when he did start explaining, like, oh, lexical and. Um, like a statistician and uh, impressionist. Impressionist. I forget what the difference between a s. Um, aesthet it's like aesthetic. Aesthetic. So, <laughs> ass tic uh, ass Just think ass tissue. Okay, the difference between an ass tissue and uh, fucking impressionist. impressionist. I'm not clear on things. I mean, the the rules are fuzzy. That's why I kind of made the videos, because like, I have like a specific question I would like Digi to answer, and I feel like he would probably want to see a video about um, neurotyping and be you know in interested in in responding to it. Maybe not in a video, but like in Discord or whatever. 
Because it's like, the biggest problem I have is like, okay, if I can place myself, and I feel like I place myself pretty correctly, what a, what what can I do with that information that, that, like, actually matters? Like, how can I use that? I don't really know how to use it. Like, should people of this type do this? Yeah, like... What is the best career path for this type of person? Like, is it not... Can you not do it? Is it impossible to, f to figure out something like that? There was, um... I think on a... One of, like, mainstream where Digi was there, um... Fucking hell. Like, I lost my bonus. Uh, he was explaining how, like, he... he finds it frustrating, uh... To explain to lexical thinkers and, um, words either. Well, be stupid then. Forget about it. You yeah, should make him like a. The, the difference between, like, he was complaining that they don't get me, but I don't want to put the work in for them to get me. Like, the, it's like, oh, they aren't putting the effort into understanding me. So I won't put in the effort into understanding them. And it's like, well, well, then where's the bridge? Who's going to bridge the gap? This is a problem. We need to, like, work towards solving it, right? Well, that's what the people in the middle do. I, I, I was interested in Digi's, like, idea of a flow chart, literally, like, for, like, the way that inform information is disseminated by certain types of people into other types. Like... Um, things can be understood, um, said by one person who understands, like, this or that, um, and not understood by another type of person. And it's sort of like, there's like a directional, there's like arrows that point, um, showing, like, how, what, which types of people can explain things to other types of people and what they can understand. So, like, a person like Digi can explain things that we can understand um, and he gets his information from a different place that we do because he's diff he's more on the lexical side of things mm. I guess I guess so like um, so it's like people can translate um, but they can't translate everything nobody can translate so everything except I maybe the people in the middle so ideally there is a, a network of translations from different types of people which yeah. you can get information disseminated. Yeah, that's the the gist I got from Digi's comment about that. He hasn't done that yet. He did just talk about like doing it, but like he hasn't finished that. I don't know whether he's going to finish that, but that would be uh, pretty epic to see. Yeah. That, you know, and if it holds up, uh, it might be a really good premise for this I mean, yeah, it's easy to just figure it out. The, the The real trick is, like, using the information. Once you know and agree with it, how can you use it? And that's what I don't get how still. How can I get across to my lexical friends that the, the way they're looking at, uh, you know, philosophy in such a rigid way is preventing them from... Um, like... The fact that they have to adhere to already researched things. But in my mind, it's like, well, yeah, but there's things, like, this originally... Levels up so fast. Things that are academic, you know, there was, like, a, a cut-off point hey, look, at one point. Out. Things were just, like, people yet? talking. Violence. And then I somebody says, okay, this is academic. Now you have to go through a system to Excuse prove me. stuff, but we didn't before that. So I'm trying to listen to Wretch and Clank at the same time. I can't. I basically didn't listen to either of them, of, of you or that. I bypassed the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogrammed the graphic subprocessor. No, no. I mean, it's uh, Clank. You speak uh, nerd. You speak lexical. Back loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible. I ran a recursive check thumb on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to you. Yeah, your fucking brain. <laughs> this vid comic. Treat it gently. 
It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. All right, what were you saying? Lol. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just uh, like the whole point of the the slower. Like I wanted to understand the Ratchet and Clank story yeah. by playing it again. Sorry. Sorry. So I was like, oh no, I need to listen to both of these, and I can't. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, it's really just that I can't remember all of these cutscenes, and I wanted to make sure I listen to them so I can grasp the story if there's anything important in there. Um, didn't seem to be anything too important. It was just sort of like, you know, it's Al. Al's back. Anyway, um, Nero piping. Well, just like that interpretation, like you can look at the body language without really hearing through the aesthetics and understand what's going on. It's Al, he's here. But then someone else might be like, well, I didn't hear what was said, therefore I can't tell what happened. Mm hmm. I feel like these whole, like, neurotypings are not as, like, exclusive as they may at first appear, because it's like you can learn to do any one of these things. It's just your natural inclination, uh, like, your core personality from which all of you originates um, starts in a specific place. And, like, you know, after, you, after you've formed your brain as a child, like, let's say some random cutoff point, like, I don't know, 15, then that's where your personality is, like, well, not your personality, but your neurotype is, like, set semi, like, hard. And so society dictates what you need to do. Whether or not it fits with your neurotype is another issue. If you, like, work well with uh, the way school works, then you'll get straight A's. Um, if you don't, then you might you struggle real hard with, with school in general. And, you know, that will go on to inform your adult life. Watch and learn. But, like, this is how a real hero gets it done. It's, it's like, uh, you can change yourself to fit society, because nobody's thinking about, like, their neurotype through their whole life. They're just thinking, oh, I don't, I gotta do this stuff, I guess. Um, so, like, you can learn how to be really wordy, but, like, it will never be, like, completely... Something you're good at like it will never be like effortless. You will still need to put in a lot of effort to continue to be on a high level of um, The thing that you're not predisposed to be good being good at mm. like me. I can do word stuff I can write I can speak um, But it's constantly difficult and it's very easy to tell that it's constantly difficult because of the times the many times and ways that I lose my train of thought, forget the words I'm trying to say, and um, I can't I can't communicate with the language of English language, of language of speaking. And so I say things that are like That's robotic pirate ghost. like basic ideas that are so somewhat similar. Now we begin the interactive portion of episode one. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Quark killing robotic pirate ghosts. Okay. Let's get all the tokens. I think first level is pretty easy to get them. Yeah, it's a skull. It's a robotic pirate ghost skull. Uh, do you remember the pumping the bilge in the fucking puzzle pirates? Yeah. Or bilge draining the bilge? I don't fucking remember. Yeah, bilge drain. Pump the bilge is the very point. It's also rats. Flood and shit. Bilge draining the bilge. Oh, 
also something like that in RuneScape. Puzzle Pirates is like unironically one of my favorite MMOs, but only because of the mini games it has and the, how easily replayable they are. It's like the, the getting. Like the, the entire multiplayer online world is like, eh, whatever. It's kind of hard to see what's going on, it's yeah. kind of terrible to move around in it. Getting money to get a pair of boots instead of getting a furniture for your shitty shack. Old timers say a giant robotic space hero haunts this ship. What am I standing on? Just not there. There's only thing one better than a one thing better than a red dead rat is a red dead redemption. Red rat rear shit shot. Nothing. Same as the last few days. I'm drawing like the stupid thing. Oh my god, I got a one the ball! You know what? I accomplished a lot today. I got a titanium bolt. Um no, I've been like I've been constantly saying to myself, work on the Lord of Ghost comic. You've got all this time, you're not doing that, why are you not doing that? And I'm just not doing it. When I was doing the channel, like, I did kind of want to try and hold you to it, but, like, I also felt like I was going to get, like, way back on Well, it was a bad time, because I was having, like, a deep discussion stuff, so it wasn't really even... It was, like, a, a helpful, like, friendship discussion that I was having on Discord. I was like, this is not the time to be, like, ignoring that. It's just like knowing when you know, I to, like, um, how much should I hold you to account for that without like being a dick. There there's no way to do it without being a dick, but the I, f I find that like things like that they work as, you know, an ambience rather than a person looking over your shoulder and telling you to do something like there's been moments in 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 the past where i'm like hey mom could you help me to like force me to do my homework or something and she's like okay and then you know i asked her to do that and then she comes and says have you done your homework and i'm like oh this one takes the cake and it's like it just doesn't work it makes me mad even though i asked her to do it so I, I stopped doing that, it's clearly not like somebody telling me, because it's like the same thing I was ranting about a while ago, about fucking movies. The, you know, movies are cool obviously, but like, I don't like being interrupted. And so when I'm doing anything... Quark is a... Is it, He's an asshole. Turns out I'm allergic yeah. to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue. Like, the, the ambience is better than, like, an interruption. Because an interruption feels like, like an attack. And I don't like it. An ambience of, like, other people creatively working and doing things. Um, nearby, it just gives me the feeling of maybe I should be doing that. 
I need to be the one to make the decision to do it, you know? So it could have helped, but... Uh, well, who's that necessarily... It appears Quark has regained his memory. Yeah, I mean, I could tell you were looking over and thinking maybe I should say something because he's not working. And I was like, ah, this is different. This is different from being like in a Discord call where other people are silently working. Because it's like, I can't see that they aren't working if they aren't working. Is it just me or do you smell bananas? Anyway. The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Check it out. Chicken. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new... I wonder if the robot pirate ghosts from this were the inspiration for the robot pirates in the PS3 games. Probably. I mean, robot pirates is a pretty obvious thing. They would have recycled it anyway. Fred is a gadget on accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's I take a look at what he's up against. Got a certain amount of social pressure is good, but too much is bad. Doesn't look too bad now. Some people it? don't feel that good pressure at all luck, once they're told Fred. But if you understand that pressure is just <laughs> and being told Next. directly, it's just extra pressure and it's annoying. Yeah, it's like... I know I'm supposed to do the work. Somebody telling me to do it is, is like, it just puts me on the defensive. It's like, fuck you. How dare you presume that I don't know that I'm supposed to do the work. Of course I know I'm supposed to do the work. You think I'm so stupid that I can't even remember to do the work? Fuck you. And so it's sort of like nagging or like telling me to do anything is like the absolute worst thing. I do the opposite every time. I didn't know anything. No, no, no. Just like I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what's the, like, the tangible rules of this? You know, is it yeah, just that what, I didn't explain it, so like, but um, I wasn't really thinking about how it would work in real life. But like, uh, how it works on Discord, like, uh, yeah, I was, I was saying, is like, um, you can't see them. You, you can hear that, the, you know, they're moving a little bit. They're in the call. They're not like m muted or anything. So you know that if there's like a loud noise, if they're watching a YouTube video, um, I mean, they may have headphones in, but I never really think of that because I never wear headphones. Like, you get the sense that they are working constantly because they're there and they're quiet and they're not talking and they're not like responding or reacting to a video or anything. They're just talking, uh, they're just being quiet there and that's like the situation. And so... When they're being quiet, it sort of feels weird to start a conversation um, that might interrupt them. So you, you also stay quiet. And in that quiet silence, um, work is easier to get done. Because there's this sort of like silent understanding that this is what we're doing. But I can't tell that like they may not be working. I never really think about that because... You know, it's, it's, I don't know, I've, I feel like I've explained my point, but yeah. uh, not actually. Uh, I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, I think Nate has a good system where he promises someone he'll get something done by a certain time. Just for the ambience of the deadline. I mean, you say that, but like Nate is, it's almost a meme how much Nate says... Hold me to this, I'll say this deadline and I'm gonna do it by then, and he never does it by then. Mm. Ghost in the shell. Well not ghost in the shell, just like anything, like a Wiagua, like hey guys, it's gonna be up this week, like on the PCP. I've got a video up and it's gonna be up by the time you're listening to this. Like it just never is. Um yeah. very, very occasionally he gets it right, but like he's he gets it off much more often. And so I wonder about the 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 effect that that has. Um, I n I never feel like saying it means I have to do it because I've tried that myself and it hasn't really done anything to change my behavior. Are you ready to play? Yeah, this is like All right, let's Same meet our first contestant. Yeah, but like that's the thing. He, he does it so often that it, 
Like, I don't take him seriously when he says, I'm going to have it out by this date. I think, well, he's going to have it out by next week after that. I can't remember, I'm gonna have to play the entire game again. I think the gist, I mean, this whole game is, seems to be like pitting Ratchet versus Clank um, because Clank is a robot and Dr. Nefarious wants the robots to rule. So, what they do is they make it so that Ratchet is shit on despite being a hero and Clank gets all the glory, and it gives Ratchet a reason to hate Clank again. Um, but it doesn't work. Um, which is weird to say, because it's not like that was Nefarious's plan. It's just, like, it's the narrative, almost, that's doing that. It, it, well, it is the narrative that's doing that. It's like... The, the idea that Ratchet could maybe hate Clank again. Um you know, have some reason to feel animosity towards him, and it would be, like, a a trouble. It It's an idea that doesn't go anywhere, because Ratchet doesn't ever distrust Clank. In fact, when Clank is evil Clank, um, Ratchet is so trusting um, that he, you know, he doesn't notice. He doesn't notice that Clank is evil. He thinks, oh, Clank's just been a little weird. So it's like, it's the opposite. It's... Ratchet has grown so much, I suppose, that he trusts Clank implicitly, and he, he, you know, he doesn't feel anger anymore. It just sort of, I don't know, something about it is kind of weird. Because, like, narratively, I suppose you wouldn't want to just retread Ratchet and Clank 1, but at the same time, it's a weird plot thread that, like, doesn't go anywhere. Like, it just has no effect on the story at all. Ratchet is just sort of like, huh? Like, the only thing you could say is that Ratchet being trusting of robots, or of Clank, goes some way to, like, solving ra peace, like, race relations with the fucking robots, or whatever. But there's not really that much of it in, in the game. Like, it's just, like, defeat the evil Dr. Nefarious. There's no, like, nuance. If you know what I mean, like it's they, they're setting it up to have nuance, and there is none. Like there's no moral dilemma. It's just we we have to defeat Doctor Nefarious, and we do. Yeah. Has it been saying that? Yeah. I don't know. Alright. It's the infector. Makes them attack each other. Doesn't last for very long, actually. That's useless. Uh, it's kind of a shit weapon. I don't even want to use that ever. Plasma clock. <sighs> I kind of want to do like a breakdown of all of the levels in Ratchet and Clank. Because like, I'm thinking of like Blackwater City in in Ratchet and Clank 1, and then any given level from Ratchet and Clank 2 or 3. And how it feels so different. Like, it simultaneously feels a lot longer, while probably being, like, shorter to complete. Actually, I don't know. Maybe they are longer in Ratchet and Clank 1. I get the sense that the levels are just generally longer. Um, right, let's do Agents of Boy. Go on, do do your thing, 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 do your thing. Uh, I guess. 
These agents of doom are shit. They are doing nothing. Okay, there you go. Come on, do something. Do something. War says it's happening again, lol. I just got a new idea. Hmm? I think like he's talking about the fact that you're having another idea that on, on top of all the other stuff. What idea? He said like a breakdown of all the, the... Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, this is not like I had it right now. This is an idea that's been in like ever since I started these streams. But yeah, I suppose. But like it's the validity of it. Like the, the, the spreadsheet aspect might be fun. I basically want to see like how many like areas of combat versus areas of platforming there are and how long it takes to do all of them um, in Ratchet & Clank 1 compared to 2 and 3. I feel like in Ratchet & Clank 2 it's even longer than 3. Like Ratchet & Clank 3 just blew by. And I think the reason for that was I was like not taking my time on the enemy encounters and I was rushing through but because the weapons are so bombastic I'm able to do that. So like it's a nice idea of uh, of content to do, um, and mostly just for my own interest. But yeah, it is one of many new ideas I keep coming up with. It's funny because I kind of get that too. Really suddenly wanting to work on a new idea. Do you like my metal teats? She says. But whenever I return to my main project of the game I'm working on, I don't really have any issues. I guess I have the same thing, but to a lesser extent. Yeah. You got, you got something... Some sort of focus power. Focus sash. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Though I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known, Captain Quark! So yeah, well, Ratch is being shit on. But the president put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. I'm gonna do a bunch of these fucking death courses. I just feel like it. I just fucking feel like it. Like Crispy Cricket? Um. But yeah, uh. What were we saying before that? Uh, you were talking about. Uh. Oh, well, this guy's talking about. Like, uh, Ratch Worms Longer. No, 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 no. That was a train of thought I was on. Oh, forget it. It's always the fucking same. I always forget. Yeah, got one suck in it. I ne never noticed that. It's kind of weird that it does that. You see it on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, the reason... No way, I can't fucking remember what I... Nah, there's, there was nothing. In fact, I was gonna say nothing. That's what I was gonna say. I <sighs> I got hit. God fucking damn it. I had times 20, and just because this piece of shit tapped me from a fucking distance, I couldn't fucking see him because he's up fucking high. Ratchet and Clank putting enemies up high so that they can get you before you can fucking look at them is the worst fucking game design thing I've ever seen. 
Everything should be on a level playing field because everything is designed to shoot at a level playing field. Otherwise you have to do this and look up and then you can shoot. Nothing is designed for shooting up. And then they put enemies that are up just to fuck with you because they know it's difficult. You can't really see it coming. Where do these enemies come from? They weren't here a second ago. Like, look at that. Like, I wouldn't have seen that coming. This is just sort of like, fuck you, the level. Alright. I get that pretty bad. I usually come up with multiple new ideas before I finish one. But since I mostly write fiction, it's easy for me to do more than one at once. Still gets overwhelming at times, though. Yeah. I feel like Ratchet 1 is longer because all the guns are weak, so every guy is hard to fight, and the game focuses on gadgets and platforming. In Ratchet 2 and 3, you can shoot all your problems. That is kind of true. So, but it's up high. Well, you, I mean, when it's up high, you just need to aim up, which is annoying and takes time, and it's not, it's not designed for that, really. It's not good at that, ra rather. Mm. Um, but, I think that that is pretty true, that the Ratchet and Clank 1 guns, they feel like, they feel like they are designed to make the levels a certain level of challenging. Like, if you really, really, like, uh, save up, you can get the Rhino pretty early on, um, but having it is like, it, you know, makes all things, like, easy. But if you think of like Orkson, the poison planet, um, that has like, yeah, just like it was in the second game. Uh, like in Orkson, there's like all of those snapping guys and the, the smaller little guys that sort of, um, that like alert the bigger guys and like it's sort of hard to kill all of the enemies and still have enough ammo to get all the way through because there's only so many guns and they only do so much damage so it's sort of like a stealth um, you know it's encouraging stealth because you'd be better off trying to conserve ammo and sneak past the sleeping enemies there I don't think there are really any points like that in the other two games where you're expected to sneak by anything it's all like yeah, just kill him. Oh, that that counted. That counted. That one little hit set me back all the way to zero. I'm fucking I can't outrun that. Like what am I supposed to do? Yeah. I suppose I need to be like right next to it. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's use the fucking decimator to decimate him. Got these two. I remember her mostly because she has the whip that you have. Disc blade gun. Forty thousand bolts. Defeat them. Defeat them before time runs out. Okay. The bomb. Oh, 
just getting back up and down. I can't even get a single move. Yeah, because she, that's like, after she does that, she dies. Um. Last little frame. Yeah. Easy. Beat all the gladiators before the clock winds down. Yeah, I do remember there being lots of different types of matches in this. I sure hope the timer doesn't go while I'm in the menu. Throw rifts everywhere, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, so on the news, it looked like some people were coming down from like quarantine. Like, uh, I think Italy and America. I don't know if it's just because it's actually over. No, absolutely not. It's it's not going to be over for months. If America is like, I don't know where you heard that. Well, there was something Donald Trump saying like he's looking forward to. Well, of course Donald Trump's going to say everything's fine because he's Donald Trump. All right, I can't get these guys to hit each other. Come on. Fucking hit him! Thank you. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'll just kill myself then, shall I? See, that's why I don't want to do the using the whip, because it's like so much extra hits I need to do. Do I need new armor? Is that it? Five per round. Maybe I can do that. Just do the thing. Do the thing where you kill each other. Do the thing where you kill each other. Just do the thing where you kill each other. Thank you.
fuck these guys. I never know what that is supposed to be. The guy says, oh no, God, please not me, but like... It's like another competitor, like, I don't really get it. This might seem like a stupid question, but if after the stream ended you were like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and work on the Lord of Ghost comic because I know I need to, what would happen? If after the stream you ended you were like, as in like, I actually did that? Or more like you. If I said I was gonna do that, um, what would happen is that I would get ready, right? I would get myself prepped to do the thing. Which means uh, wasting time and doing things I don't need to do before I feel like I can do the thing. Then it'll get too late, and then I'll be tired, and I'll be like, uh, whatever. Like, I'll try for a little bit. I might get one panel done. Um, but it would be, like, completely, totally inefficient use of my time. Um, it would be so much better if I had started earlier. I would think all of these things, you know? I would think, you know... It would be justification time. It would be like, I'm starting late, so all of the work I'm going to get done is like, it's going to be basically infinitesimally small, and it sucks, like this cannon. When you shoot things back, they explode bigger. And you have more ammo space, I guess. But like, it would be like, I would open up the document, and, um,. From there, I would basically, yeah, I would try to draw for a little bit. Before that, I would get like a cup of tea or something. And most likely, I would check things like Twitter. I would check the comments on that video I posted. Um, so I can get that out of the way, quote unquote. And you know, you know, bunch of bullshit, basically. This is the, the problem and the annoyance, is that when I talk about things like this, people give me, like, advice, and a lot of it is, like... It's, it's like, the advice hinges on me being a fucking retard and not knowing what the problems are. I know what all the problems are. I know all of the things I would do. I know why I would do them, and I know why I hi like I don't do the things I'm supposed to do. Knowing what I'm doing wrong doesn't make me do the right thing. It's not knowledge that's the problem. I don't know what it is the problem. But like I it's really fucking hard to to be doing it right. Yeah. I feel that. Fuck. This is not upgraded enough if Actually, there's only 4 rounds. Maybe I can do this. But I have to use their powers against them. Fucking hit each other. It's like a whip, this is so poorly defined. I guess the hitbox is just where the, the physical object is. Like five per round? Like I literally I can't do it like that. Maybe it does more damage if I get loads of the people. Well, three will do. Two will do. Yeah, how am I supposed to do this with just three? Maybe it's all small guys. There's one over there though, it's like just fucking doing nothing. Like glitched out. So. No, they do that, they stay away. I hope this is the last batch, because I don't have any more ammo. 
Okay, good. Oh, fuck, hang on. I gotta re scroll back up for them to see this. Are all of those preparations necessary? Would the quality drop if you avoided them? Um, I mean, I'm just explaining what I would do. Like, like what I need to do. I don't know how to define how that's different. Um, like, do I need caffeine? Probably not, but at the same time, if I feel sleepy, then I stop completely. So, like, generally it's a good idea to have a cup of tea there. Making it doesn't take a while, but it's still a thing that is not immediately working. So that's why I explained it like that. Uh, don't take this the wrong way. I understand that working through all this stuff is annoying and complicated. I'm just trying to understand more. The reason I'm asking this is because in your neurotype video, it seems like you were trying to figure out what kind of system would work for your brain. So I'm trying to see if I can help at all as a third party. Maybe I can't, but I don't mind trying. Well, thanks for trying. I don't know, like... The system that I use... It seems very... It's not like... Like, it seems to be, for me, there is never a single one sol solution to every problem. Like, any problem I have that comes back, whether it be a bout of depression or inability to be motivated, I come up with a different way to get over it every single time. There is no, like, tried and true method. Every method is wrong. It just so happens to work sometimes. So, like, coming up with a system that gets me doing the right thing every time, it doesn't seem to be like, something I can replicate. You know, if I figure out a way to work, it will mostly just be, like, random. Like, randomly, I'll be feeling in the mood to work, and randomly, I'll do a lot of work, and I'll feel really good about myself. And then I'll... From that, I'll continue. But, um... Trying to make that happen is, like... There's, there's like, no science there. There's, like, a... You can't... Call, unless I identify what was it that changed that made me suddenly be able to do everything, I'm not going to be able to replicate what it was, and, like, every fucking time, it's something different. There's never a, a through line, there's never, like, there's vague similarities between things, but a lot of the time it just feels like some time passes, the chemicals in my brain are shuffled around a bit, and then I'm fine. So, like, I don't fucking know. Uh, but thank you for trying. Shade the Novice says, I have this exact same problem, Gib. Still haven't figured out how to solve it, so I talk about it with my therapist. Shit, what day is it? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, it does for me. If it's Friday, then I have probably, um, well, actually, just this time, I'll probably miss the therapist session. I don't know what day it is, so there's no reason for me to pay attention to them. It's first day, because that's tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Fucking stop looking at me. They do get in the way. They do actually literally get in the way of my peripheral. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna I'm gonna explode you with my shield. I think sometimes it's just sort of the pressure to make all the time the profit. Uh, I mean, there's no profit in Lord of Ghosts. Oh. It's it's like a long-term thing. Um, I want to make things so that I can be good at making things in the future. It is a practice thing. And I wish I could do comics. That's ge generally the idea. Is I have a lot of cool comic ideas. Lord of Ghosts is the, the first one. Um, let's see if I can do it. Turns out, uh, one, if there's a pandemic, I can't do it. I don't know. I'll get around to it. It's just like... 
there's too many hundreds of things getting in my way that are my own doing. Yeah, I would. I thought that really I would have like gotten all my projects done, the pandemic and everything, being in no, like, oh no more loop stuff, like those benches in the garden. There's like this. It, without, like, the, um, without, like, what do you call it, um, scarce, scarcity, without scarcity of, um, your home environment where you have free time, um, free time means less, and then you use it less, uh, efficiently. You're like, oh, I've, you know, free time, oh shit, I've only got like one hour to do this per week, I've really got to do it. Mm. Big motivator to, to, to do the thing. Um, if you have like, all week, well, yeah, I can spend a few hours not doing it. Yeah, shit. That's, true. That's why I like some sort of structure. I don't have a lot of like, work work, because um, it's like... It's whenever we need to meet, we'll meet, and um, we talk about what needs to get done, and and you know brainstorm ideas for things uh, in person. And uh, you know it doesn't take like a full working day. I don't need to wake up really early, but still, it's enough structure that makes me appreciate the time where I am not needed, um, and I can stay at home so that I'm more likely to get things done during those times. Mm. But now that every time is free time, it's just sort of like... I don't know. feels different. But like, I'm using that as an excuse, I feel. Mm. So it's like, I don't know, whatever. Everything fucking, fucking, whatever, fucking... You know what? What? There's this thing in my brain. It's always like, oh, you know, just finish this thing quick, like this video, this, 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 that. I oh, just want to get like one more round of trouble brewing. I mean, it's fun, but like, I just feel like, you know, I want to get this decoupage thing done on this box. I'm thinking, what would be like the big brain thing to do right now? And like, I don't want to be rude, because I like being here in the stream, but also I think, like, what I gotta do is I gotta say out loud, I'm a bitch, I'm gonna go right now, and I'm gonna do the decoupage. Well then go do it. And then if I do it, I'm finished, I'll be back. I mean, you were the one who walked in here, you could have easily left at any time. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna do it if I didn't make myself feel like an idiot, you know? All right, see ya. See, see, the difference with that, what me and Henry are doing, is that I'm continuing to play Ratchet and Clank, mostly because I know that once I open the Lord of Ghosts thing, I'm going to immediately turn, like, just do anything else. Because, like, it's a little different like making it, he's making a chair, but he's like following rules and, and regulations and like, th not regulate, what am I talking about? He's following a set of rules, he's got a thing to do, it's just sort of like physical labor, it's a little like brain intensive, but he knows what he's doing, right? He's doing a layer on a chair, or a decoupage, as he says. Coming up with like what panel to draw is like harder, and I hate it. <sighs> this game fucks. You know?
I will look at the chat soon. I am focused. I feel like this is supposed to be hard or something. It's not very hard. I got such good weapons. Fuck that, fuck that. It sw swivels around to such a degree that it will get me. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't, if I can't evade that. easy. That's fair. I guess I find it difficult to gauge when people are looking for advice versus when they're just venting sometimes. Um, wow, is that really everything? That was fucking nothing. That was fucking nothing there. That is a lot less content, actually, now that I think about it. Like, it wasn't even slightly difficult. There's supposed to be challenge mode. Um, looking for advice versus when they're just venting. I mean, the, the whole thing with the neurotyping is like asking for advice, but specifically neurotype aligned advice. Um, I don't mind advice, but like... I guess it's just sort of... Hmm, ladies and gentlemen, and Helga. Does that mean Helga's like non binary? Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! <laughs> First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAM. Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy! But it just might work. Trooper! Engage the impulse drive. No, you don't fucking get away from me. I fuck off. What the fuck? There we go. Alright, so in this game, Ratchet comes home because his original galaxy is being attacked. Secret Agent Clank is the big hotness. Clank gets all the love and attention, but really, the the mayor of the galaxy, I don't fucking know, the president, um, 
whoever the fuck that is. I don't really like his character. He's sort of boring. Um, he's just sort of like Mayor Quimby from The Simpsons, but with fur. Um, and he's like, he, uh, he needs Captain Quark, so Wretch is like, well, yes sir, yes sir. I, I guess Ratchet is like a galactic ranger now. Why? Like, he was a hero, and then he became a hero of another galaxy, and then he comes home, and he just sort of accepts the galactic ranger position. And now he's working underneath Captain Quark, someone who has been, you know, the villain twice in a row, and Ratchet really has nothing to say about it. He's just sort of like, what? You sure we need Captain Quark? Okay... It just sort of goes along with everything. 100%? I'm gonna try. Yeah, let's... Wait, no, I don't want to skip this comic. Why would it... Why would X skip the comic? I guess since it's challenge mode, you would have done it once already. So if you don't like it, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba, a new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Doctor Nefarious. To think they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane. And my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. Oh. Right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. I do wonder about, like, what's true. Like, obviously, Captain Quark's um, greatness is exaggerated by himself. Is he a complete fraud, though? Did he do nothing? Has he no worth whatsoever? Fucking small enemy. Hang on. I see you there, small enemy. Really feels like if you don't kill that guy immediately, you're bound to get hit. Can't remember where things are. I know there are there's a few secret areas, but I forget where they fucking are. I don't feel like any of them are like leap of faith things. I feel like they'd be subtly hinted at. Oh shit. Does that come back up? Yes it does. Let's 
See, that's like a subtle thing there. I know that's there. Fuck off with that. I did say on Twitter a while ago that like the extreme pain that is beginning a, like to do anything um, is it's just it'll fucking tear you to shreds and you will feel like shit and there's no easy way out of it and that's just how it is. I did say that on Twitter because it's true. Um, yeah. Like, it's just gonna suck. Like, doing the... L I was waiting for a secret to a pop, pop up. Like, that is... That was not fair. Like, you'd think, right? You go down, the, you go the, a little bit down, and then you can find a secret. But no, it's like completely nothing, and then sudden death. Great. And I've, I'm ten short, so I missed one of the red things. Oh, well, there's no way I can't go back. There's no way I can go back and get it. So, fuck it. I got the health upgrade, but I don't know where to look for the other thing. I'm just gonna go through it again. Do I get the tokens the second time? Army defeated. Doctor Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years. <laughs> Doctor Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark, will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. It's like there's no. I don't want to skip the comment. There's a ten thing somewhere. Somewhere in that game, there's a 10 thing. Since I don't have lives, I may as well just jump down every pit, trying to look for it. Okay, so I do have to collect all of them in one go, which means I can't fuck up and miss any. Not that I was trying to do that before. Okay, like, up here? Fucking hell. That fell immediately. I 
There's one place. Hang on. That's like that all the way, isn't it? Yeah, okay. There's one place I'm thinking of that, like, I jumped down prematurely. Maybe. Oh, that that was probably it. I didn't rem I don't remember getting that before. Oh fuck! I hate how I can't look down. Just assume I can get. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought it was just a really long death scene. Okay. I'll just do everything else I did the same. Oh, almost forgot the health. You know I already have it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that stays, but all the other tokens don't. I don't like that they can turn around while they do that. Like this location. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, we're at 95. We did it. I did it. I got it. I got all of the fucking things. Collect it. Yeah, the whole... I don't know, fucking know. I keep, like, beginning a sentence and then I'm like, no, there's no point to that entire thing. Who's this green guy? He doesn't look like Ratchet or Clank. It's Captain Quark. Don't you know Captain Quark? I was playing a video game within a video game. Let's see if they have, like, stupid armor. So, it looks like they do. You can buy the fucking stupid armor for this money. Hmm. I could, but I will not. No, I have never played any of these games literally ever. Oh. Well, they're very good. Because PlayStation is bad. Well, that's just untrue. <sighs> I mean, why would you? Why would you think that? Nintendo is based. Sure, why not? But like, why is PlayStation bad? That's just not true. You know, you you haven't made an argument for why it's bad. So you're stupid. Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here. 
and Mr. Bigshot Star is nowhere to be found. I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right. I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done. I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. Oh, yeah? How about now? He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. Wretched thinking about it like work. I'm a soldier. I shoot guys. Oh. No Mario, no Zelda bad. Mario's okay. Zelda's okay. They're just okay. You know, Ratchet and Clank's incredible. It's better than everything. It's better than all of that shit that you hear about on the television. I want to get the Rhino 3. Okay, so. Skid, what are you doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude, bro. Black Ops are my especiality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, thanks, Shadow Dude, but I think we've got this one covered. All right, I'll just take my hacker and go back to the ship. Hacker? Oh, well, you know, I'm... Ah, oh, computer hacker. ...to join the mission, Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! Sick, eh? Isn't that dated 90s lingo? The way he says it was always a bit weird. Like, when it came out, I remember, like, sick. It was like... That doesn't seem right, the way you said that. This is going to be sick. People just say, ah, it's sick. They don't, they don't enunciate the K quite so much. It, it felt like a, a voice actor trying to sound like an actual hip person, but failing. I picked up on it as a child, and I was like, that's not how you say sick. That's not sick. You fuck. You stupid idiot. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! I killed one guy and that leveled up? That's funny. I killed two guys and that leveled up? Lamau! Hang on. I find it really funny that that... Wait. Come on, I just need to... I just need one shot. Fuck yeah. Double experience, alright. Um... What can I level up now? I guess the flux rifle again, I mean, fuck it, why not? Nearly level 5. Oh shit. Look at all this shit. Look at all this money I can get. Oh, he got rid of my fucking thing with a fucking chomp. That's all it took. Well, there we go, times five. Good. Mario and Zelda are temporary. Ratchet and Clank is forever. Well, I'm glad you see the light. Mario and Zelda are just old. Ratchet and Clank is less old, and that's cool. So strange how, like, easy everything is to level up. I 
I think... I think they're for um, playing video games. So I'm like half the way to 3k. 3k, 3 mil. Oh, I remember a skill point here is to like blow up a bunch of these TNTs. There we go. By touching them. Probably some more. But I really like, but also really hate how like everything's like melds together when you whoosh past. It must be some like PS2 specific thing, because it doesn't seem to happen on PS3. They do like a different like motion blurring effect. That like feels more like a camera motion blur. This feels more like a an after image ghostly motion blur for the with a Graphics get painted on the screen almost and smudged. It's an effect that I really like. You can even see it when I'm just turning around. Like things look like they're painted on. Or that might just be my TV. I'm gay, therefore I am. Okay, um, I don't know how to level this up. Yeah, like... Maybe it's like the amount of stuff it takes. Easy. You know, Ratchet & Clank 3 feels a lot like Dark Souls 3 for some reason. Just in the fact that it's like, there's the first game, then the second game is a different thing. Then the third game takes things from the second game and a lot of iconography from the first game. And it's generally considered better than the second. Or, well, maybe it is. I don't know about Ratchet & Clank whether like 3 is considered better than 2. But it certainly feels easier. Like, easier to just, like, have fun with. Except for that one part where I got really mad. Love of Ancients. They're just leveling up like nothing. Like butter. These guys are leveling up like butter. Thank you. 
it's a skill point for getting the TNT. Probably will be got here. Maybe we have to blow up everything. Maybe that's it. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, there it is. Such skill. Why do they kill his friends? Yahoo, I think I'm gonna do the bit of the sewers um, when I get to them. Oh, actually, there's the whole like clank fank. Waste high raw sewage. Look at all these pipes. I wish I could look th with the camera. Ah! Shh! Clank, did you hear that? We are not alone. Hey, uh, dudes, I uh, forgot to feed my goldfish. I'll see you back at the. Ah! Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Anyway, I needed to find a less conspicuous place. You sold a suck cannon to a miner? Uh, still in the market. Don't you mean a fuck cannon? Yeah, I got all these already. Fuck you. You have nothing for me. See another thing from the first game. This always looked like a submarine as well, so it's sort of fitting. In fact, it was probably designed as a submarine first. We must split up here. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to put on the Tira guys and go meet my new pals. Good luck. I will assist you if I can. Perhaps you should have read the instruction manual. It was nice knowing you, Ratchet. Monkeying around. Hmm. Monkeying. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> we are on an important mission. No fuckering around now. Hmm. Fuckering. Hee 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 hee. Hmm. 
Ratchet, I need you to extend the bridge at Junction G5. So I guess I have to do this again. I mean, it certainly makes sense. Yeah, this would be kind of fun if, like, it was difficult, more difficult in challenge mode. Because, like, I don't hate, like, Simon Says things. They can be pretty fun. This is just so, like, so simple, it's like, eh, yeah, sure. So that's like three different tyranoid things. Then you're a clank for a bit, and then I think you do a little bit more tyranoid, and then it's like the last second to last level, or maybe the last level. We have to talk to the robot tyranoids. Yeah, 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 I know. I know how it works. I know what to do. The gadget bots don't really come up much. And also, they don't move out of my fucking way. Like, I actually really don't like that. Look at this. I'm trying to move. This is, like, infuriating that that happens. Like, in the first game... Uh, jeez, I don't know how to analyze off the cuff. The first game was better in a lot of ways. The Clank segments, I feel like, were, like, there was two or three of them. They felt, like, fulfilling. It also felt more like Clank was actually needed. Like, as opposed to, um, you know, now where it's just like, Secret Agent Clank. The most important guy in the galaxy has to, they have to split up and do this. And Clank has a, has a banana gun now, and he's part of a mission team, and it's like, yeah, but he doesn't really need to do any of that. Like before, it was because Ratchet literally could not breathe. Clank being a robot was the reason he was the only one going out and doing anything. And the environments were suitably oppressive. Like Orkson. <laughs> well, what took you so long? Clank, uh, what are you doing here? You're supposed to meet me on the surface. I thought I would help. Well, you can give me a hand searching Dr. Nefarious's office. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see it. Oh. Look at this. The complete Secret Agent Clank Hall of It collection. Huh. This guy's your biggest fan. 
That is rather disturbing. How many fucking episodes of this thing is Clank made? Perhaps Al can decode it. Great. Let's get back to the Phoenix. Like, if you think about how long it takes to make a TV show, um, just generally, and then you think, oh, this is the complete Clank collection, like, maybe he has, like, duplicates, but there's multiple discs filled with Clank doing his secret agent Clank shit. How many years has Clank been doing this to make this much of secret agent Clank? Like, seriously. How many years has it been since Ratchet and Clank 2 ended? It's never... Uh, maybe there's a wiki. Maybe there's some information somewhere. Like, 50 seasons. Yeah, it's like an unbelievable amount. And like, how many episodes are on each disc? How many, how many boxes equals one season? Are there movies in there as well? Like, uh, 50 seasons, maybe they film like five seasons a year because he's a robot, he doesn't need to sleep. But surely the squishies need to sleep. I don't know. Whoa. Deja vu. Ow. Oh, it's you two again. Right on schedule. This here is one of the nastiest, smelliest sewers in the galaxy. Most guys wouldn't set foot in a place like this, but me? Ah, I just can't get enough. Right. Well, we were just passing through. You can get back to whatever you were doing. Hey, if you find any sewer crystals, I'll pay you for them in bolts. I'm making something special for the missus. Sewer crystals. Uh -huh. We'll keep that in mind. All right, I don't have the, 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 Wait, maybe I do, no I don't, I don't have the boots yet, but I feel like I can explore quite a lot of this place, so I'm going to do that, that'll be the stream, basically as I'm, I'm now going to do this. And of course, anytime I need to upgrade a lot, bunch of weapons, I'll come here to do it because it's like so many enemies. Maybe this game is like only difficult before challenge mode. Cause like I distinctly remember like the sewers being like mind numbingly difficult and terrible, but like I can kill most of these guys with just my shield with without, without real any issue at all. Just need to walk into them. So I'll get every sewer crystal I can. Go on the outside first, move inward. Oh, that's right, you can only get some of these guys from one side. Lame. laughing so much. What's so funny?
According to the wiki, Ratchet and Clank 2... Ratchet and Clank 2 takes place about a year after the first game. But Ratchet and Clank 3 takes place an unknown amount of time after 2. Hmm... So it really could have been like... I mean, they don't seem like older or anything. I don't know how long the Lombaxes live. But... Yeah, it could it could be like five years or ten years even. Like doing a bunch of these shows that it gets so established and so big that it brings Doctor Nefarious back. It is weird how it seems like so easy to get lost. Alright, I know I've been down this S before. So let's see if there's any crystals to be seen. I wonder if they bring that back the Gadgetron PDA as well. That would be like the best way to get ammo in this. I got hit by something. Uh, getting pretty good shit. Yeah, the plasma coil is like the best weapon of all time.
think that does damage to him. How about the liquid nitrogen gun? How do you like that? Right, it's not very good against these guys. Maybe get good against the littler guys. They can't be used there. Oh, but they can. They can be used, sort of. Kinda not really. Shield Charger version 4. I could still use the Shield Charger to kill things and gain experience. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's the main thing, is that. Oh, have you noticed that? Look at the slime. It comes further in, like that point farthest away, in that bend, like, if I move slowly, you'll see it fills up the sides as I get closer. I guess that's like a low-poly model that's, like, s smaller, lower down. God, this is really good. It's like instant times 20. Oh, and I went, like, it fucking bit me. Goes straight back to fucking zero. anything I want. So it depends on the lifespan of Ratchet. Yeah, I guess it does. You said that a while ago. Um, the Lamel. The Infector sucks. It didn't seem to take any time. Okay, so as long as I infect something... Right? Hey. It's alright, I'm doing the sewage. Just did the decoupage. So what's that? It's, uh, again, like, paper mache, like, fancy word for, you know, put paper and cardboard with PVA glue and make it hard. Uh, decoupage is sort of, you know, it's trying to say that it can be hard. It can be, like, you can do it on wood, you can do it with all sorts of things, and make them cool. 
but I was just really just doing it to reinforce my box so once the glue dries uh, hopefully that'll become like really really solid and the glue soaks into the cardboard with all the paper to sort of hold it as well I'm finding that this game is very easy on challenge mode for some reason. Um, I wonder if I like try to do all of the things, like all of the special things, like on the first playthrough or something. Because like, I don't know, nothing seems that difficult. I'm not even really doing anything special, I'm just just sort of playing the game. Do they have like incremental challenge modes where like they can get you even harder? No, they just have the challenge mode. I mu it must be that I played the game mostly all the way through on normal mode and then challenge mode I save for later, but I feel like I liked challenge mode in Ratchet Clank 2. Like, I would have wanted it to be like that. But look how quick I can get to times 20 and get all these bolts mm. with just one rift. One of those guys, and they all, like, die immediately. Yeah. Because yeah, it's kind of a weird weapon, like, this it doesn't really hit them. It just has to be big enough to suck them in. Therefore, if you have it upgraded enough, and it can psych up big guys, then it just kills everything. Yeah. No damage level required. You just keep saying why. Why? 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 There's the big guy. A game, therefore I am. Oh, fuck's sake. The worst thing is the little guys. Because they just, they just nip you once. Doesn't matter if they don't take any damage away. You lose times 20. Fuck it. Um, right, where am I going? It always seems to be the case, like, little enemies are just way worse than, like, big bosses and shit. It's because big bosses are designed so you can, like, dodge them. Yeah. Little enemies are designed to be annoying if you ignore them. And you it's always want to ignore them. Lot. I like Monster Hunter because it is just big bosses and there are no little guys you have to fight ever, really. But even then, they have these um, mosquito like bee things called Vespoids and like. You know, usually they they don't um, do anything. But if you stand around, and you can, uh, like they're picking stuff up. They can like paralyze you with their stinger if you don't pay attention to them. Like, you know, I could be like doing all the cool things against big boss. I mean, it rarely happens. But Vespoids, like, it's always the little thing. You don't think of it. It's just like, God, fuck you. I could crush you. But and I'm crush you. Fucking die. But when you get the magna boots, can you go on the ceiling and stuff? Yeah. Oh fuck. See, I can even fucking see him. I thought he was being sucked into the thing. Uh, that guy there is on the other side. I gotta go all the way around. Right. So it depends on the lifespan of Ratchet. We were talking about um, how in Nefarious's lab there are hundreds upon hundreds of, not hundreds, but upon hundreds, but like, like 80 to 100 fucking DVD looking things of like 
Secret Agent Clank, and we were thinking, how the fuck many seasons of this shit are there? How long has it been since Ratchet and Clank 2, if they've done like 50 seasons of fucking yeah, Secret Agent what Clank? Are they, like 40? Yeah. So we were just thinking about that. Um, apparently on the wiki there is no, as Chip says, there's no, like, defined date between Wretching Clank 2 and 3, so it could actually be a really long time. Yeah. That is a thing, like... I... I never really thought about it, but, like... Wouldn't it be cool if there was, like... Older Ratchet? Like, instead of the... I felt uninterested in the, the way that newer things went, but like, if it were to be different, I would like to see like, all the ratchet, but then would I? I um, I don't know. Old, could. old versions of beloved characters is just sort of like, you want the same thing, but you want to see how it's progressed, and it's like, I guess. At the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Do you remember Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? Do you remember oh, Rugrats geez. All Grown Up? Oh, jeez. Like, that was... I mean, maybe it could have been interesting, but it was just like... The Rugrats was funny because they were babies. Mm. Seeing them in a different age group is just sort of like... Now it's just a, a show about some children. Yeah. Rugrats was so strange. But it was like the mind of a literal baby. Uh, seeing things, and then it was like children dealing with bullying on the school ground is like not as not nearly as interesting. Yeah, I only saw like a couple episodes of it, but it was like like you would only really care if you were like of that age, being like, I've grown up. I wonder how they've grown up. Yeah, I think the thing that's probably interesting about you know, seeing things with the eyes of the child, because you don't really remember that part of your life. But when you start looking at it and being like, huh, that probably is how my brain worked at the time, if I really think about it. That's kind of what's interesting, I guess, about Rugrats. Fugrats. Yeah. This is undoubtedly, undisputably, the best weapon. Yeah. In the sewers. The sewers. The sewers. Buy some more mammoths. Um... Is so Stormy says, what you playing on? PS2. I got the I got- I just have the game. I've still got, like, a sticker on it that says, like, free bo- no, um, free bonus disc. Of like a bonus, um, not bonus, a uh, demo, yeah. a demo of Sly Two, is in in the oh, fucking disc. Yeah, fucking, I remember that. It's in. It's still in there. Oh, do you? Like, I I figured out there was this demo disc that came along. I can't remember why or how we got it, but we did. And like, um, I remember there was that Muppet Racing thing. Yeah. But the other game that I thought was Metal Gear Solid, but it wasn't. Splinter Cell. No, no, it's um, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, which is like a rare CD. I don't think it was. Uh, no, I distinctly remember it was called Splinter Cell. Really? It may have looked very similar, but yeah, it was Splinter Cell. It's a Splinter Cell VR, like. Not VR, but like you know, demo level where you're supposed to sneak around, it was really difficult and impossible. And there was little, like, like, fit, like, Cody, sort of, like, um, something or others. Well, I specifically remember, like, the Winter Soldier model from Metal Gear. Well, I don't know. I mean, you could remember lots of things. I remember Splinter Cell, so what does that say? Hmm. Had Muppet Racing and that one chicken game, yeah, I and the and game the Hot Wheels game, aesthetic. and that one game that was like I, we couldn't figure it out what to do because it was like you walk around and there's a, like an iron gate and there's a oh. scary monster and then we were like what do we do it's and like we a guy in a big black trench coat yeah big well yeah. so it was a brown trench coat and he was like 
sort of spooky, like Silent Hill esque. Um, I did li like that was the first time I'd any any like seen anything kind of edgy and like s suspenseful in games like that, and I was like, wow, this is cool and different. But where the fuck do I go? Yeah, we couldn't figure it out. So that was you know. This is one of those things that I really want to know what the name of that disc was and where it came from, come from, so that I can Google it. Because I'm sure people also have had that thing and they're like, Oh my god, I remember that. Oh my god. Like, that's one of those things. I just like moments like that, because it's like, I would love for somebody to come up with a, like a, with a YouTube video and then show me what the thing was called, and I'd be like, oh! Yeah. But nobody some, nobody does that. Some, I mean, some people do, but it's it's hard to find them, I guess. You wouldn't know what to look for, so you just hope to come across it someday, like yeah. somebody will review the demo disc of this thing. But nobody reviews demo discs. People review, like, old games that are things, but, like, specific discs? No one does that. I wonder if anyone has made, like, a list of all the demo discs given out in the 90s. That would be impossible, just for the sheer number of them. Like that, CDs was su there was such a big boom of CDs and video games and everything that you know they were putting in fucking cereal boxes. Do you have yeah. any idea? Like, I mean, obviously the cereal companies were paying for it, and, and or like there was money being exchanged, and it's cereal money was being used, but still, um. It's fucking... That's a lot. That's a lot of money to do all those CDs for free in fucking cereal boxes without jacking up the price of cereal. Yeah, god, that's just like... It must have been one every fucking day. I have to pay a private investigator to figure this one out. Nah. What if you did though, and they actually came up with something? That would be a really strange, like, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be strange. Really. No, I mean like, strange as in like, what could he possibly come up with? Where would he look? Like, I guess, like, can a private investigator have the authority to just go to Kellogg's.com and find information on like, or like go to the Kellogg's headquarters and say, uh, give me the records for all of the demo discs that you put in your serial in this time period. And they would be like, uh, nah. Like, can he just say, I need it? <laughs> like, how, how does that work? <laughs> ah, fresh from the bowels of a king amoeboid. Piece of shish. Alright, look at this, look at this, watch this, watch this. Whoa. Whoa. I got the Rhino 3. Free. Got a bullet. Looks like it can upgrade as well. Yeah. yeah that's one bullet. Alright, so I need the Magna Boots before I can come back. So let's use the Rhino fucking 3. The Rhino 2 was like so overpowered, it was ridiculous. The Rhino 1 is just so expensive and there's no way to get so much money in Ratchet and Clank 1 that I never got it. I, ch I think I did get it once, but by the time I had grinded enough, I just didn't want to play anymore. Yeah. Woo! Boy, all right. So yeah, that's what I said I was gonna do. I said I was gonna get this crystals, and then that was gonna be the end of the stream because I was sort of winding down. Didn't take as long as I thought, actually. So what would be next? I would return to the Phoenix, see the cutscene, and then I think that'll be it. Hmm. He's watching the new one. Sorry to disturb your work. Uh, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now.
dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice, you will always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Anyone can beat a moron at his own game. It's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q Force. What? This Q Force must be stopped. Destroy them. Eradicate them. Annihilate them all. <laughs> it's on my to-do list. Right after folding your undergarments. Yeah, so like, in this game, Nefarious is obviously a Saturday morning cartoon villain. He is Skeletor, he is campy and silly, and he is not intimidating at all. Um, Chairman Drek is kind of like a horrible... I mean, he's goofy in the things he says, but he's not like the butt of the joke. Mm. Capitalism is the butt of the joke, because like, evil businessmen are the butt of the joke. So did Cork actually beat Dr. Nefarious and turn him into a robot? Maybe. I can't remember. I'm just doing my job. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free-fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi. I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day, but we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Not only are they not doing anything, This is just sort of like, fuck Ratchet the game. Yeah. Th th this, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta, like, this is why I'm concentrating on those cutscenes because, like, it feels, it always felt a bit weird to me that there's, like, there's all of these potential threads of, like, interesting drama, like Ratchet being shit on, and, like, Clank being bolstered, and. And like robots and Doctor Nefarious, and most of the drama happens with Quark. Ratchet just sort of lets everything happen, and he's just sort of there. I feel like maybe there was a missed opportunity for Ratchet to actually have some emotional content in fucking Ratchet and Clank Three, because I feel like he doesn't fucking get angry enough. Nobody mm. respects him. Only the Galactic Rangers do because they mm. see him fight. The thing that confuses me is that. In one, I always sort of thought that Quark was always phony and never did any hero stuff. He just got pushed up by like a, as a corporate headpiece. I think that is the case. I think that the the moment where you go to his uh, his like home, not home planet, but his secret base, and you confront him, um, is like, oh, I I am not good. I've I've I'm a phony or something, and him doing the heroic thing later on is like his first actual heroic thing. Um, I I think I can't remember. That's the why I need to to listen. The confusing thing is the existence of Doctor Nefarious and his idea that Quark is his mortal enemy. Yeah, I mean Quark must have done some hero work in the past. How good he was, I don't know, but I guess good enough. 
Although, I mean, I don't think it gets expanded on at all, but, like, maybe um, there are other ratchets in, in Quark's past who do the most actual fighting, and Quark himself just sort of takes the, the credit. Yeah, that, that probably... But then again, would Nefarious not realize? Well, he's kind of goofy and stupid. Maybe. I'm gonna have to pay attention. Um, if I don't pay attention, then I'll just look up cutscenes on, on YouTube and stuff. But I want to figure it out. Story analysis. That's what I want to do now. Fuck game analysis. Game's good. Game's perfect. No problem. Hello. Box locker three thousand. Box fucker. Robots in the butt. No, that fucking g guy blocked all of my bullets. You know what? Fuck the ga the Galactic Rangers. They also suck. Everyone sucks in this game except Ratchet. Except me. I'm always constantly being called a piece of shit. What about uh, the Tyranides? They're cool because they're funny. Oh, fuck, why, what the fuck happened there? So wait, are the Tyranoids related to Dr. Nefarious in any way? No, they're just like being controlled by him, like it, an invasion based on Dr. Nefarious's in evil intent. They're just a race, and they're being put to war by Dr. Nefarious. Why do they do what he says? I think... Uh, because he just has a deal with them. I don't think they go into any depth at all, actually. It's kind of like, don't think about it, but at the same time, Drek's plan was like surprisingly, um, like, all the planets had some purpose. The, the, his plan was coming to fruition in the background. He was like, doing this, uh, like taking a slice of this planet, and this planet is like, currently being like polluted mm. and this this kind of is like it's just sort of like like i was saying with the the gameplay ratchet and clank one is just more elegant i think as some as soon as something is a sequel there's some sort of like they take for granted that it's a successful game that they're building off of mm. like they just try to ride the coattails of itself like instead of trying to make it just as good as the original. They're just sort of like, uh, you know, they're, they're, they think they're building on the original by just adding stuff, but it's, an, it's a complete experience on its own. So it's like, if Ratchet and Clank 2 isn't as good in the terms of the story, you can't prop it up by saying it's Ratchet and Clank 2 because Ratchet and Clank 1 was good. You, you know, like if there's an, an, an equation, like, Ratchet & Clank 2 isn't Ratchet & Clank 1 plus 2, it's still just by itself. You play the game on its own. You don't play both games at exactly the same time. Mm. So, like, the story of Ratchet & Clank 1, like, the well-crafted everything of Ratchet & Clank 1, it doesn't just... it doesn't literally carry over to the quality of Ratchet & Clank 2 and 3. You still need to work hard to make it good. Um... And, you know, they worked hard to make it awesome, but, like, certain aspects were just sort of, like, forgotten about. Like, Dr. Nefarious is funny and interesting, and, it, well, not he's not interesting. That's kind of the funny thing. Not the funny thing. Mm. That's not why he's funny. He's just funny because he's goofy. And a lot of Ratchet and Clank 3 is like, haha, lol. Lol, like, what if we, like, were, like, like meta. Sex jokes. It's, well, a few sex jokes and a lot of meta humor. And, you know, a lot of, like, we're a video game... Um, not too much of that, but like, there's like, um, what do you call it? 
there's a lot of, uh, somebody said that the Lord of Ghost comic was a bit like this. There's a lot of, like, irreverent, irreverent humor. It, what does that mean? I forget. Uh, sort of unimportant to things. It's just sort of... Like, uh, the, the, the joke is that it doesn't make sense sort of things, yeah. Um, it goes a little too irreverent. Like, Lord of Ghosts, um, I think, or, like, could stand to be less irreverent. Like, a lot of the jokes are just sort of like, oh, isn't that weird how that is the case? But at the same time, I just found it funny at the time. So I was like, you know, it's not good, but it's not terrible either, it's just alright. But, like, I didn't make Ratchet and Clank 1 first before I made Lord of Ghosts. So it's a... Uh... And, and that's also not to say that Lord of Ghosts is bad because it has irreverent humor in it. It's just that you can overdo it. Mm. And um, it's sort of like... Somewhat of a like lazy adjacent writing style. To like think of something and then... Dude, that doesn't make sense. Haha, <laughs> what if we play, like drew attention to how it doesn't make sense as like the joke? And at the end of the day, you're still making something that doesn't make sense in a way. So it's like as long as as long as anything has a balance of things that make sense and then silly things as well, then it's then it's fine. But I feel like Ratchet and Clank 3 skews a little too heavily towards things not making sense and that being the joke, rather than and 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 like lacking that Chem and Drek overarching villain plot, like. The, the whole, like, thing with Dr. Nefarious, you learn about it in the Quark vid comics rather than in the game. Yeah. His backstory is that he's, like, a nerd and he got made fun of and that's it. Do I not have the swing shot yet? I, I don't. Oh, I've got to come back. I thought in this one it was, like, a green zappy thing. Yes, the dynamo, uh, the dynamo swing shot combination, but I don't have it yet. It's definitely a lot better. This. Oh, this weapon? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically an actual weapon. Also makes a nicer sound, I think. Yeah, more meaty sound when it shoots out. Because when it hit enemies. It made like this sort of there is a lot of really good sound design in Ratchet and Clank. But I talk a lot about like the story in the game, but like that graphically and like sound ways is like so fucking good. Hmm. Like, like, I don't know if the blade makes any noise when it hits an enemy, you know, because I mean, does the explosion, but that's just because the enemy explodes. Well, let's just see. But uh, if it's an enemy that doesn't explode, then it goes ting ting. In the other one, in the second one, it had this sound, and it kind of grossed me out a little. Uh, I, 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 I kind of liked the ting ting sound. It well, was no, just not the ting ting bit. That bit's fine. It's when it hits an enemy, it'd make this sort of uh, cutting into flesh sound. I just sort of didn't like it because it happened on metal and anything. Hang on, let me. This commentary. Okay, we'll get... Just nodded in agreement. You're neurotype vid all the way through. Nodded because you are feeling the same way, or because um, actually I forget what I said. I said lots of things, but mostly about like me. Mm. Uh, the pteranoids are never explained properly. Nefarious just turns them into robots, and they seem fine with it. Yeah, that was another thing. Like, they, they, they're following, I, I mean, I assume they're like low intelligence species, even though they ha are implied to have, like... Language. Well, they literally have language, but implied to have, like, abilities to have, like, um, you know, th their language sounds stupid, but actually, it's actually quite, um, uh, flowery and poetic and, like, normal and, like... You know, you can say all sorts of English words with Tyranoid language, um, in that way. So like, they're they're and they've got we they've got like 
weapons and stuff. So either Nefarious provided the weapons, um, or like they are a race that has weapons like this. I think, like, if it doesn't get explained, I'm gonna guess that the idea was that they were going to explain it, but maybe didn't have enough time or something. Um, because a whole lot of things feel a little bit rushed. Like, it seems fine on the surface, but there's, like, gaps. Yeah. Maybe the Quark vid comic, like, cutscenes were, like, something they wanted to have, like, live action more. I mean... I don't know, comic, the, the comics are pretty good anyway, but like it's easier to make a comic uh, than it is to have a whole video game scene with that stuff involved. Mm. But like, uh, if I were to build a, a world building idea, Dr. Nefarious is a mastermind criminal uh, robot guy who has weapons all over the place. I feel like he would have given the Tyranoids weapons and a purpose and that's why they follow him but there's no like Tyranoid leader even though there is a queen and she's got like a robot thing strapped to her back and you kill her um, and then she's dead but the Tyranoids still follow Dr. Nefarious like they follow him even before they turn into robots they continue to follow him mm. and then he turns them into robots and when they're robots I'm like okay well maybe as robots they just follow him because that's how he's made them. Mm. You know, because robots can be programmed and stuff. You can send a whole robot ray. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I suppose it, do it does feel like certain things just don't get ex explored at all. I do, I really. I do really like the faster moving and more smooth style of gameplay of 2 and 3, but I do really miss the narrative focus of 1 had. Yeah. Like if, if, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm wondering about like how, how the movement and like ease of movement and the extreme explosive weaponry, like how far that goes to like making Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3 feel more frenetic and like like could you even have the same sorts of levels in Ratchet and Clank 1 as you did in Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3 I suppose Would you could Ratchet and Clank 1 work if you had the strafing oh well, absolutely the strafing is just sort of like makes it so that combat is not like a frantic scary thing but in that way it's like um you know Resident Evil right you mm -hmm. have terrible movement controls so that makes everything really scary in Ratchet and Clank the terrible movement controls, uh, they're not terrible, but like for combat, mean that you, if you get in a situation where you're surrounded, you always feel that, like you have to run away, hide, get your sniper rifle out or whatever you have, the rocket launcher, mm. um, the Vizzy bomb gun, take enemies out, use the decoy glove, just get the fuck out of there, um, throw down the glove of doom, you know, it, it's, a fr it's a frantic like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. In Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3, you never feel like you need to do that, so all of the weapons that are focused around throwing stuff uh, just willy-nilly and getting the fuck out of there um, don't have as much utility. You just end up using them because you want to level them up. Like, you can you can face every enemy head-on with no problem. You know? There's no, um... Like, there's no reason for me to use this. If I get surrounded, I don't need to do that. I just need to throw down a bomb or just like get one of these and swing around. Yeah. And even if like, well, that's that's not actually to my point. I don't know. Fucking, I'm stupid. Whatever. I prefer deadlocked. Deadlocked is probably gonna be fun because it's like they take the weapon stuff and they make the whole thing about weapon stuff. And so as a spin-off, like. It doesn't. You don't think of it being a Ratchet and Clank game. So this is the queen. Yeah, that's the Tyranoid Queen. I assume it's the queen. I mean, what else would it be? Hmm. A brute. The Tyranoid leader. I mean, this is Tyranosis. This is where the Tyranoids are from.
is that is getting lost in one's own irony. You draw attention to that, but don't go any further, and it's like stagnation. I feel the same. What? Oh, he's talking about my, my video. Getting lost in one's own irony. Stagnation, nation. Uh, what would get rid of these quick? The plasma storm. Deadlocked was great just because I could play with my brother. Yeah, we, did we, like, multiplayer? I think we must have tried at one point, but it was just sort of like weird split screen and difficult. Yeah. Difficult to see. There were probably some stupid arguments as well. Uh, like, I imagine, like, uh, fucking something up here. Fuck. And you'd be like, oh fuck. And then we'd all be like, oh fuck. Uh, and everybody would die. Captain Cork, first you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously, though, to be a true hero... Like, it's funny, but, like... ...more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind... <laughs> ...couldn't have done it without... ...these massive guns! <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of like, it's very silly. But Ratchet does not get nearly mad enough. Like, nothing happens with Ratchet. Ratchet's like no one. He doesn't have any fucking soul. Mm. Like, there's no arc of Ratchet being done with this shit. And he definitely should be done with the shit. This is what... He needs to be Jack. Jack was such a fucking brooding asshole, like, fuck this shit. I'm doing my own thing. Huh. Fuck you, Torn. I don't give a fuck. Who's like, that? you know Torn? Guy with the knife? First Jack. guy you meet? Jack and Daxter. Oh, Jack and Daxter. He needs to be more like Jack and Daxter. Ratchet's just sort of... He has the first game where he's like a really cool guy who's like an unlikely hero, learns to be cool, and then he's like a pansy bitch for the next two games. Doesn't fucking say... Talk back to anybody. Doesn't have any any attitude. This is why he doesn't get a girl in any of the Ratchet and Clank games. He's such a fucking bitch. Such a bitch. Why just said like, Oh, fuck you, Quark. I'm gonna join Dr. Nefarious. Quark... I don't, like, you, well, that's what he has to say, or, uh, like, you know, he doesn't need to literally, like, betray everyone, but he just doesn't have, like, I don't know, he's, he's, he grows up too quick, like, it feels like at the end of Ratchet and Clank 1, all of his development is finished, and in Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3, they don't know what to do, so they just make him good, now nah, he's just a good guy now. There's no, there's no, there's no edge to him. There's no nothing. Yeah. He's completely edgeless, like an orb. Like he's just an orb video game character that has yeah. guns now. There's sort of like some very surface edge, like maybe in the things that he says, but not really in his action. He's a straight man. He's he's fucking Applejack. He started out like a actually Applejack would be insulted by that because Applejack has has edge. Ratchet is like Spike. Ratchet is fucking Spike. That's what he is. He's going around doing his, like, things for Princess Twilight. And, like, he says things like, Come on, Twilight, that's stupid. Uh, wh wh why'd you... And, but he doesn't actually put up a fight. He doesn't actually say anything. Yeah. He just sort of, like, n like rolls his eyes. But, like, he still does what she says. Yeah. Edge in facade, but not in action. This is the this is the new video game analysis bombshell. Ratchet is fucking Spike from My Little Pony. We played on the highest difficulty and also in first person mode just to make it harder. First person mode. This game has first person mode, doesn't it? I I, I try no, I do, it does. The, I tried it a few times, but it's like let's, let's try it now. It might actually be. Wait, look at all those 
things. Widescreen. Cool. Um. Okay, maybe it's only in like the special. Wait, maybe it's in special. No. I could buy a skin. Oh, not quite. I need another. I need another thing before I can do that. I, I remember there being like first person mode in multiplayer and stuff. Multiplayer Ratchet and Clank 3 was fun because we could play with each other. You can do it in this game, but uh, I guess not in missions. Oh, is this like one of those? Well, it's just like regular gameplay. Like, you can do it in multiplayer, you can do it in like challenge matches, but like, I, I can't see an option for it, so like. Oh, camera mode. Oh, wait, no, lol. Um. It said first person. The thing I don't like about this though is that you are so much slower and you can't do like the the boost. Like um what happened when you double jump. You double jump, but like you can't like R boost. You can't go like you can't go any sort of speed. It's like painful to play like this. I suppose it's okay if you, like, really can't fucking see enemies that are slightly high up. Alright, yeah, that's not good. Like, I like to be able to do this, you know? Th this mobility is actually really important to dodging attacks. If you don't have this amount of speed, you're just like a sitting duck. They really nerfed like the the the, the walking speed too much. I don't know why, because you have like games like Quake and all this shit that like have like first person shooters where you move around real fast. So I don't see what the problem with like moving faster than that would be for like a, a shooter. When first person shooter mode. I guess they thought Quake was too quick. Okay. Nearly everything is maxed out. Uh, let's get an agent of doom. Like this, this is the the lo the time you use the agent of doom. It's just ah, eh, let's see. Like you don't need to use it. You just like yeah, fuck it. Almost V4 now. I did it. How did he even get here? Oh, Quark? He just teleported in properly. Yeah. Well, at least he's still better than he was in that remake. Oh, yeah, Ratchet. I haven't played that, but um, I'm going to on stream, I think. Once I get to it. It'll be like, oh my god, like... Is it the one where Quark is, like, narrating? Yeah, it's the one where there's talking the whole time. There's the thing, like, if Quark gets redeemed in this, then that remake... I don't know about the time frame of him being in jail. No, no, it's exactly the same as the first game, except based on a movie of the first game, which uh, means that the cutscenes don't make sense, because you need to see the movie to understand what's going on. Which is the strangest idea I've ever heard, and very much uh, a game that nobody actually has involvement in. It's one of those, like, committee things, like... Everyone agrees that we're gonna make this thing, and nobody actually cares about it. Just ratchet and clank the movie. Aye, ah, sure, okay. You're gonna be doing this, okay. Who cares? Who's who's heading the project? Uh, no one. Everyone. Just ratchet and clank. You money. Uh, brand. It's just sort of like, we we see that you have a brand here, and we would like to capitalize on that brand by making a film and a game tie-in. Okay, sure. All right, let's make that fucking money. And then no one really cared at all. And it was it was stupid, and no one is stupid. Like, 
I'm actually curious as to what the movie is like. I think because I've ne I have never even seen a review of the movie. Maybe I should look one up. Maybe it's like cringe. But I think what I heard is that it's like just sort of bad, and that's you know it's like not nothing that interesting, which is kind of the worst. Because like uh, if it was like the big terrible thing. In the meantime, dear Princess Celestia, I'm a fucking dear pesky I'm plumbers. A fucking ranger. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Dear pesky plumbers, I learned that friendship is, is magic. In one of these Koopa hotels. I dare you to <laughs> find me if you can. <laughs> Dear pesky Celestia, <laughs> the Koopalings and I have learned about the mushroom friendship. Do it. Uh, Do mushrooms. Like friendship. Like mushrooms. Eat mushrooms. Eat friends. One of my seven Koopa hotels. I'm trying to think. Uh, how's it go? How's it go? Uh, uh, um, um, um. Dear pesky plumbers. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the mushroom kingdom. The princess is a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I, I dare, dare you to find her if you can. We gotta help the princess. And you gotta help. Oh, no. oh yeah, it was like, we gotta save the princess and you gotta help. <laughs> if you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. So he's dead. We just watched him, we listened to him fucking kill himself. Yeah, you know, they, they bite it by the bullet every second. The movie is so forgettable, I literally forgot I watched it twice. Lumo! Still, oh, the Ratchet oh, from 3 is an absolute problem. chad compared to Ratchet from. Oh, yeah, you sort of said that already. And everybody knows, toast, imagine, toast, toast. Like a YouTube <laughs> review where he, he, whenever like they're presenting, like this is what's wrong with this media, they go, ha ha, here's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not <coupling>. enough. <laughs> wait, wait, you mean like a review of YouTube poops? Yeah, but it's like done with Hotel Mario <laughs> speaking all the lines. <laughs> oh, so Hotel Mario reviews it's like, uh, here's YouTube the poops. problem. Too many. Graphics. <laughs> Here's the problem: too many sauce jokes. <laughs> Die. <laughs> you must stop using sauce jokes, <laughs> or else you will get a bad review from Mario. <laughs> yeah, I can see that being hilarious. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I should do that for like an idea I wanted to make and I couldn't record because I fucking suck at talking. I could just be like, here's the problem. Here's the problem. <laughs> Not enough toasters. By ass. Fuck are you, motherfucker. How much can my nanotech increase? Yeah, I thought it lim was limited to uh, 100. Yeah, that's what you would think. But this game is so fucking epic, it just keeps getting 
numbers. That was annoying. That was frustrating. That was shit. That was yeah. a bad game. Never put a box. Where a, where a mad agent should be. I hate mad agents more than I hate mad agents. Mad. I got the Tesla barrier. Here we go. God, it's so fucking powerful. I love it. Is Fuck. there a mega version of this? Can I get even more power? Mega. Mega man. Mega man. Mega man. There was a Ratchet movie? Yeah. It's... It was... It was a... Uh, Forgettable. It was... Uh, f the, the first game... Story... But different. And they made a game of the movie. Where the story was from the movie and not the game. And the cutscenes weren't even in the game. So you didn't know what the fuck was happening. And also, like, Ratchet is apparently even much of, more of a wimp and a pansy and a shithead. Yeah. Like, surely... I've definitely seen the game where he acts in he's like, game parts, and he uh, is, like, such a pussy. Oh, uh, I just like, want to be like my hero, Captain Quark. Like, at least Spike pretends to be, you know, fucking cool. He's Spike? He's a bitch. But, uh... Who's Spike? You know, when we compared... This oh, right. right. I thought Spike. you were talking about Spike from Ape Escape. No, no, no. No, no, no. But, like, it's like, how can, like, comparatively be even less cool? I think Nanotech Max is out at 100 in the first play, but 200 in challenge mode, maybe? No, I was getting, like, 101, 102 in, in the beginning. At least I think so. Maybe I never got to 100. In the first place, I did beat it real quick. Yeah. All right. All right. I got a, I got almost a million butts, but I'm gonna save that for the armor. I guess. I, I guess I'll need that. Wow! I did a whole other planet. I didn't expect that I would do that. Oh ho! Here's the problem: too many toasters. You know what they say, all toasters Make toast a bad toast. Video. Make a bad video game. Where's the princess? This is the biggest tyrannoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a star cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic! I could obliterate a lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> Alright, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Hello! Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six pass alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dak. What was that face you skid was making? I don't know, he's just dumb. Because <laughs> he's dumb. Lol. Pump. Punk. Punk is moving. Oh god, it's alive. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work. But how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! <laughs> Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top secret super weapon being constructed on... Super weapon? Well, super is such a strong word. 
that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome! Ha, <laughs> it's the line he said. He said it again! I don't, I don't think I like Ratchet in that. Just like the way he was like playing up. Well, I mean, he's just telling a story. What's wrong with that? Hey. Like, just because Ratchet is a pansy in like in our conversation doesn't mean everything he does is bad. I thought that was alright. Like, he's just trying to impress the girls. She's, just, she's like laughing, like, haha, oh, did, did your penis come out? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, my penis came out real big as well. And you want to see it? <laughs> you know, you know. It's like, right in front of Skid. <laughs> yeah, Skid's there as well. He's <laughs> like, whoa, dude. <laughs> whoa, dude, I don't know. That's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Fuck are you, big lady? Right, this is it. I'll read it. Chip Weissman says, Ratchet in the movie has zero personality. His entire motivation is, I want to join the Galactic Rangers, and then he does in the first act. And he, he has no dynamic with Clank. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. They would ruin something so much. Yeah. I guess that's one good thing you can say about Jack and Daxter is that didn't fucking happen. Yeah. They went super fucking edgy in the second game. And it was epic. And then they went even edgier in the third game. And then Jack X was stupid and didn't work. But it was also very edgy. They, they carved out exactly what they wanted. And it didn't feel like, aside from Jack 3 being a terrible video game. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just sort of like frustrating and annoying. Um... But, like, aside from that, Jack and Daxter is, like, good. Yeah. It is good. I'm fasting. Yeah. Fat. Ass. Fat ass. Dead ass. Dad is. Dax Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh. Something went wrong with my tubes there. Isn't there somebody called Dax Tear? Yes. That's what they said. He's in my Discord. He makes video games. He made that hooker game. Do you ever play that? Uh, I don't remember. Remind me. You may have not seen it. It is a video game about a girl who is uh, has a grappling hook. And that's the joke. She's called Hooker, but she uses a grappling hook to move around. It's actually really fun. Okay. I haven't seen it, but it sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I think he's making a port for Steam or something. I, I've seen a few things. But I would recommend that. It's a little, like, uh, game made for, like, a game jam, I think. So it's not very long. Mm. But it's good. Yeah. Crumble in despair. No! <laughs> I'm gonna crumble. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. <laughs> he hit the floor. Before the floor hit the floor. I bet I... I better not be doing those... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a skill point for doing this real quick, which is why I'm sort of like rushing. What do you get for the skill points? Well, cheats. Big head mode, small head mode this time maybe. Tiny penis mode. Tiny penis mode, large penis mode. The list goes on. Fucking hit his head. Okay, I guess. 
I can't fucking believe that happened. It's so difficult. I need to press the jump button at exactly the same time I need to press this button. Maybe I should just press it way early. I feel like I just saw some kind of weird secret. No, it's just a, a one of those green things from a different perspective. Oh. What a disk Load space? What the fuck? Um. You're running out of space on this PC. Um, okay. I just go to here. To videos. I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, oh, for fuck's sake. Perfect. Beer, beer. trick for that is to um, be good. Yeah. You're right. Shit. Fucking do the, the next one in the fucking sequence, you piece of shit. I bet, I bet this means I don't do it fast enough. I, I, I have a feeling that the, that little animation where he has to get the fucking hacker out means that it's like, you know. Yeah. You didn't have to do the hacking again on the other things, did you? No. But like, I feel like the skill point doesn't take that into account. I don't know. Let's, let's just see. There may not even be a skill point. Yeah, there's only one hacking game in this, and there's this. Uh, the last one, there were two. I remember I really liked the look of the one in the first one, where you have to just sort of take rotate things. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't so much a a respond to imminent death thing. Yeah. It was a puzzle. Yeah. Like a R Rubik's Cube. But I suppose you can only make so many of them unique before you, you run out of possible angles to do that from. Yeah, but there's like fucking. You don't need to do exactly the same thing again. I guess if it's hard to design, like this is easy to design, you just make a sequence and have it play. This was pathetic. Alrighty, we'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh yeah! Your little man is cocky now. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling map? Hmm? They'll see how cocky you are, twisted up like a pet noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Fancies! Six. Six. Right. Let me just check. Skill points. Turn up the heat. Beat her this best time. Yeah, this is like very obviously like do this, but first. The philosophical gaming says I think Half Life Alex stole the hacking from this. I've seen like a donkey video on that, and the hacking seemed like hell. Um, Compared, probably because you have to do that with um, fucking you know VR controls, uh, which sucks. Like for every like you want to pick up a med pack, fucking, then you gotta fucking hack. It's so hard. It's so hard to press these buttons at the same time. 
There we go. <sighs> Fucking die. Feel like what, what was the point where it got annoying and I was raging and crumbling and crumbling? Oh, it was um after it was Metropolis, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll buy the thing just before Metropolis. This is not even even slightly difficult yet. What is Ratchet's neurotype? In Ratchet and Clank One, let's think. He's a mechanic. He builds things. Um, and, oh, there's that scene in Ratchet & Clank 2 where he's reading the, the blueprints for, like, how to do the levitator on Clank, and he's like, yeah, I get the gist. So he's very impressionistic, I would say. He's an impressionistic thinker. He doesn't need to read words. He's just sort of, like, probably, like, learned, um, how to make, uh, things by looking at them. So he's an impressionist technician? No, no, and te technician is lexical. Impressionistic is the opposite of lexical, so he doesn't do the, the whole language thing quite as much. Um, um, he's quite emotional. I don't know what that has to do with anything, actually. But, uh, let's think. Lateral and, and linear. I think he's very, like, straightforward. Like, he doesn't think about a lot of things. He's just like... Yeah, whatever, I'll do the thing, and fuck Captain Quark. Yeah, I think he's like pure instinct, actually. He's pure instinct, bottom bottom right. Uh -oh. What? Funny. Right next to Donald Trump. Well, just because you're in a certain location doesn't mean you're a type of, like, I know. person. It's just like I'm, a way of I'm thinking. Joshing, I'm joking. I know, but that's the wrong way to use the chart, which is, like, something that yeah. people are going to do. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm on the same square as this person. It doesn't mean you're like that person, exactly. Hmm. It just means that you have, like, a, a tendency to think the same way, given the same situation, yeah. the same input. Could be like pure instinct, lawful good, chaotic good, <laughs> chaotic evil, chaotic penis, chaotic. Is this all the weapons? Feels like there's quite a lot less actually. Hmm. Alephologicals Gaming says, "Did things on my desk yearly come out this year already?" It did, yeah, it comes out in March. Yeah. Episode 4, where I have my camera out, and yeah, it, you, it... You had it, your camera looking at your camera, and you had, like, one video posting at that time, and then that video posting this year. Yeah. There was a, it was a video way back on the Give and Take channel, which was the other side of that. And really, there's nothing that interesting about it, except for the fact that it came out years later. Hmm. So, haha. Yeah. It's the funniest thing of all time. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Mm. Thought that was like instant death fish water. Might be like a couple seconds instant death fish water. Most likely. God, I remember in like Jack and Daxter one, the lurker fish. That <laughs> is too big. Get a size smaller. Oh, it's really small. It's infinitesimally small now. Yeah. Alright, so I don't need to put on the charge boots, I just have them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, you know what? The only time I remember needing the charge boots was in the sewers where I was getting bored um, of going the same direction over and over again, or like mixing and matching and going the wrong way or whatever. So... So... 
I remember that that automatically happens now. Um, like, it automatically switches shoes depending on what you need them for. So if you try charging into a magna boot thing, it won't work. Um, you'll immediately put the magna boots on and then all the, ga the gravity boots. Mm. And then that'll be that. Would that happen in the sewers then, like if you charge boot on Yeah. The you, you charge boot onto slightly the wall and then suddenly it's like, ah, oh, jeez, I can't charge. So, like, actually find that the boot switching automatically is bad. Although it, it, it automatically... It, switch for the automatic switch. it automatically switches to the gravity boots anyway. So it's it's just sort of like the charge boots don't... The only difference is now um, the charge boots do not get unequipped. Like, as soon as you're off the magnetic surface, you can charge boot again. So I guess it is just a straight improvement. But there's a better way to do it. Logical game says, do you think Digi has you on the in, in the right spot on the neurotyping chart? Um, I think it's basically the right spot. Where did he put you? Impressionist. Um, yeah, impressionist. I put myself a little higher into just just about aestheticians, ass tissues. Um. Just because my mind, I think, is a little more lateral than people may assume. But then again, I don't know how lateral Digi assumes I'm thinking. Because he can only go off of what he sees me do. But, like, he can only go off of what he sees everybody do. So, so what, what is lateral thinking? It's always so hard to explain. Um, it's like you're thinking of many thoughts at the same time as opposed to a single thought. I, I get like it. you, you get jumbled up. Yeah, no, I, I definitely feel that. Like when I was talking to my friends um, about you know psychology, they were on like the one train thought of like, well, you know this, and I was trying to think like, well, actually, if you think about it, this thing that may look like it doesn't relate could kind of relate to this. I can't really go all the way into it, but like you know, I can sort of see like. You, if you just sort of think about it differently and you get this check you know, it out the, 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 everything's related years Courtney but sh they, they couldn't see that any prizes on annihilation nation ah yes her specifications were remarkable yeah well she's not the hottest pop star in the galaxy because of her singing that is odd it appears this computer was recently used to edit one of her music videos oh let's watch it I, I mean you know it may contain a clue or Look at this pansy ass bitch. Yeah. Actually, uh, liking Courtney Gears is not pansy. It's uh, based, I think. Dude, rise up. Oh. It's just a little bit on the nose there. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun, like, yeah, you want you with me? Exterminate all organic life. Oh. Yeah, who knew? She always seems so sweet. I didn't know she was a fascist. Well, except for that one with the... You know what I mean? <clears throat> She might possess information Gay. about what Nefarious is planning. Oh, right. And if we Gay Luigi. That's Mama Ratchet to you, Clank. <laughs> Imagine if Ratchet and Clank... We're started. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> I just started doing the thing that we do. It's like, it's oh, a Fuck stone. you, fuck you, you Clank. It. I'm fucking Luigi. No, you're Luigi. You're Luigi! I'm fucking Mario, you chiddled me! 
<laughs> Fucking <laughs> crime in a bucket. Alright, this is not too difficult. It's just real difficult. I remember my mom coming into the room while I was watching this. Lamal. Uh, no, no, mom, you don't understand. It's robots. It's a video game. <laughs> it's robots. It's not sex. Don't worry, mother. It's okay. Yeah. I'm sex with robots. And then it's like, kill all organic life. And it's like, uh, mom, I can explain. <laughs> yeah. I only kind of want to kill all organic life. It's only because the robot said so. I kind of miss the way the magnet boots made you walk different in the first game. I I kind of do as well. Yeah. It was it was a unique thing. It's just sort of like the combat. Whoa! What the fuck? That's that's twisting and turning that car right there. Yeah. I do like some. Of you can't movies. jump. I think the thing that sucks about the the magnet boots is that it slows everything down to a point where you yeah, you can't even use any weapons. You can only use the wrench, which doesn't even make sense. Because if you can't use weapons, because they're like magnetic or whatever, why can't you use the, the wrench? Why can you use the wrench? Because it's also metal. Mm. Maybe it's not magnetic metal? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ratchet doesn't have shoes in the first one, does he? Um, no. You yeah, see his feet. Only when he is on the magnet. Rail, does he wear the boots? There's the grind boots as well. Oh, yeah, grind boots. But other than that, doesn't wear them. Nope. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking. Oh wait, the rhino. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to level up. It's the rhino. The Rai three no. The hard to say no. The Rai. Mr. Vol can't say no. Stargazer says, Gib, you're a Yakuza fan. I kind of am. I, you're not Gib. I'm Gib. I'm the one who should respond. I don't know what a Yakuza is. It's, it's great. Um, uh, Giles, uh, giant friend, introduced <laughs> My me. giant friend of <laughs> the <laughs> giant realm <laughs> clan. He is, he is a giant. Um, From he's really, One Piece? He's really, he's really cool. Um, uh, but it did say it'd be coming Fucking to Rhino 3 DLC. 2. But, like, yeah, he introduced me to Dynasty Warriors and Yakuza, and we were just like, he would be playing the game, and we'd like be watching the story unfold and shit. He'd let me have a go, and we'd just like chat about stuff and do silly dumb things, but it's just like, yeah, Yakuza is like a really cool cinematic game, but it's still a game, it has like fighting, but other bits that are also good. Yakuza 0 is like really like capitalized on, on those elements and really turned them up to 11, although the other games are, are pretty good, but I've only played a bit of the older ones and mostly Yakuza 0, but they're, they're real good, they're real fun. Uh, they got a lot of character and charm. They got like cool story arcs. Yeah, uh, you know, you say all this, but when I when I look at it, it's just sort of like Chinese GTA, and I don't care. You don't even have cars. Is it like Shenmue? Is it just no? It's Shenmue is the thing. The thing shit. that I hate is that they're all fucking human beings, and I don't care about human beings. No. What are they? What are they gonna do? Real human things in the real world? I don't know, I just, I, I, I can't yeah, get a like, sense of why it's cool. Yeah. Like, what, what literally, not... what do you do? It's not just one thing that you do. Or well, what's your favorite thing that you do? Okay, there's the main story, which is great. There's... It's very aesthetic, I will say, like, it irreparably can do the story in cutscenes, in-game, or in pseudo-cutscenes where it's like this sort of stylized thing, kind of like a comic book, and it, uh, it, 
it, it just depends on the mood of like what they're going for. They want something to be explosive and cool. They bring out the full cutscene. They just want to get some thing out of the way. They sort of in-game thing. Bit of I, I I need the broad strokes. Yeah, it's, it's you're, you're you're talking about tiny minutia of like I, things that like I if I don't like like this, this is a sort of like I back of the box sort of like okay. like selling pitch. I'm not great at this. I know. I'm I'm trying to give you an opportunity to figure it out. You play as multiple yakuza. Uh, different parts in the story, um, walking around a part of Tokyo, and saw a story about power plays and betrayal, and all that kind of Yakuza stuff, you sort of get to know the personality slowly, interacting with people on like lower, sort of like, oh we're a Yakuza, I guess, you know, as a mission, just go to a bar and drink, talk, learn all the little mini games there are like you can play chess and stuff and while you're learning all these little cool side things that you can do you're also learning about the characters while they're like sort of taking you through like all the cool things you can do in the world uh, just to sort of you know get more money basically to buy cool things to do cool things be a cool Yakuza, maybe you want to buy a weapon to make fights easier when those happen, but it's not like always fights. A lot of it can be if you decide not to go for the main mission, just sort of chilling and like doing fun things, kind of like, like in GTA, but you, you don't really like kill people. You, It kind of has you like a hero, really, unless you're playing Majima, because <laughs> he's a fucking asshole, but even then, it's like, you kind of get like One Piece level, like, characterization as you like, go through the city, sometimes you walk down the street and like, you end up in a side quest and there's like, some kind of very comedic funny thing with like an old lady who like, keeps, um, bumping into you and then saying, oh, don't touch me, and screaming, and then, like, getting, just so you get out of line, so she can get, like, the last hot dog or something, and every time you go back through that, um, street, there's, like, the story progresses a little bit in a different way, and this is just, like, a funny little side quest, and it's, like, full of these things, and, like, you know, you go through different little side stories like that, and, um, they could sort of, I think some of them can pan out differently, but it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, mostly just, just do them, and, like, I don't know, you might want to, like, there's one where like, you defend a little kid from, like, predatory, like, gangsters who want to, like, ransom her, because she keeps coming to this video game store, and, like, you learn that she doesn't have a dad, I found and shit, and, like, it's about characters. No good. I guess. Hmm. Heavily characters, which, which is why, like, exactly does it do? maybe, like, the more later GTAs, but, like, it's got way more about characters. Every little thing is about characters. Right. And all the little things that you do are just there to give context and a world to those characters, like... You could go dancing and you see what your guy like dance is like. Right. Okay. Like so the the game is about characters. Um How do you switch from character to character? It happens. Are there like episodes? They they yeah, it's sort of like episodes like, you know. You probably would want to be like, okay, I want to kind of do all the side things before I progress the main plot cuz then I might go to a different guy and be doing some other things in a different place. Um, or like, you know, maybe somebody straight up like dies. Hey Ratchet, what's up? Hi, Skid. Can we talk to Sasha? Sasha and Quark are meeting with the president, man. They left me in charge of the ship. What? Uh, I mean, I see. 
Uh, well, is Al there? He's out to lunch. Helga? In the sauna. Corpse monkey, perhaps. Just tell Sasha that Clank and I are checking out a lead on the Obani moons. The Obani moons? Sounds like you guys could use some backup. I'll grab my gear and meet you there. I don't know, no, no. Great. What happened to when he told that soldier to get on the fucking thing? That's later. Uh. Oh wait, no, that's the beginning. He, he arrives and he's like, Oh jeez, I don't know Rick. And he's like, Fuck you. Get on that thing. We're gonna fuck the enemy. And you're gonna fuck the enemy. Yeah, you can't say that to Skid. He's a... Uh... I recently started on my quest to read all of One Piece. It's about damn time since I followed the podcast since it started. Lol. Now you'll finally slowly understand what we were talking about. Real Chinese GTA is a game called Sleeping Dogs. I've seen images of that. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just racist. Maybe I just don't like seeing Asian people. Sleeping Dogs is about uh, an undercover cop. Uh, getting into um, getting under the covers into the mafia Chinese mafia basically as a sleeper agent hence sleeping dogs uh, and like you can kind of do some of the things in GTA I don't know if you can just like straight up the thing, kill people alright the thing is with the GTA comparisons is that I don't really care about GTA at all like CJ, like, that's pretty fun, but like, crime, organized crime, doing crime, yeah, you know, whatever. What the fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake. The thing I like GTA for is the open world and the cars, and driving and, like, getting a bike and being an idiot. So, like, if it's not that, then it's, like, it's not GTA to me. Mm. So like, well, like Sleeping Dog has cars, that, but it's less open world. Yeah. So like Yakuza, you're like Yakuza walking is, around. Yeah, you're walking around a city district. You don't really. Have so like, I'm trying to like get a grasp of like what the gameplay is. Like that you say that there's so you many different things, but like what are you actually doing? Usually you're walking around town. Um, so it's like a point and click almost. No, 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 no. Well, I'm trying to get a grasp of it. Um. I guess, sort of, in like a 3D environment like GTA or Sleeping Dogs, you are sort of walking around, but maybe not as fast. Um, like, I don't mind if it's a walking around game, I'm just trying to get a grasp of like what I would like, be doing while I play the game. One of the things that you often do is you sort of bump into delinquents who are like fucking with some woman, like saying, hey, come have sex with us, and then you're like the hero Yakuza, like. It's dishonorable to fuck women. <laughs> <laughs> and the woman's like, actually, uh... <laughs> I'm like, that's not <laughs> exactly. But you get what I mean. Like, you're kind of like a, a sort of hero. You can shoot, you can just, like, walk by. But it gives you the opportunity and sort of assumes that you will sort of just be the hero and, like, save these people. Uh, right. From stuff. So is it, does it feel more like like a RPG, like a like Fallout One? Uh, no, because you you have to sort of initiate battle like in Okami, and then you are in battle mode in a short area of the district in the in the, the pavement. It becomes like a boxed off little arena in Okami. And you go into like the fight stance and you do all these cool combos and shit that are fucking crazy and badass. You can get out weapons, you can do crazy fucking moves that fucking are animated really well. Um, especially in Yakuza Zero where you completely fucking slam dunk people where you use like certain special moves. It's so entertaining to watch um, when you finally like you know, you do all the right dodges and shit, and you fucking slam a guy's head into the concrete, or like, you do the special move with a specific weapon, and each different weapon has like a different cool fucking animation of how this guy gets fucking decimated. Um, you know, 
full aesthetic shit. But yeah, the fighting is like very separate, like, yeah, you know, from the, the walking around. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of like what you're describing seems to be more like, oh, this is a fun let's play thing rather than like a video game to play. What do you mean? Cuz like you're talking about like characters that you're learning about and um and like cool looking fight animations and there's like no description really about like how it feels to play the game. It's all about like what it looks like and how it like the the experience you have like aside from the gameplay aspect. And generally like I would watch a game like that maybe. I don't know whether I'd play one. You want to know what it feels like rather than what it looks like. Well, I can see what it looks like, but yeah, like I, I, I can tell like by the, your descriptions that like what it feels like is that you really get to like these characters and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know whether I enjoy playing games that are just characters. Like I, I enjoy Okay. Well, the thing is, right, like, I would need to know, like, whether I want to buy it before I buy it. I, I don't really buy games before I know that they're the coolest thing ever. If you want, uh... Hmm... Maybe? Maybe you could stream and then I could come and see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, cause like, that was the thing when Giles got me into it. I wasn't playing, I was just watching, and it was just so cool to watch. So, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll stream Yakuza 0. I'm a bit into it. Um, well, I mean, you could stream from the beginning. Yeah. Like, you have a special, like, save file for that. Yeah. Yo, Sam, same Sandalwood regarding One Piece, that is, not watching Pod Cursed. Yakuza isn't like GTA, it's a combo based combat system. That's very accurate. I don't know what that was in reference to. Does this level do the thing where you go into the map and it just lets you orbit the planet? Yes. In fact, there's a skill point for landing on that up there. Those platforms. I'm trying to remember, I think, if I just jump from here, this is the highest point. Yeah, I must be able to get over. Oh, yeah. Styles and style combos is, is the main meat of combat. Uh, too far away. Right, they're coming up. Come right up. Oh, wait, I don't think I can reach them from here. How do I get those? No, like, the, the, they don't all go, like, really high. So I've got to find the one that goes the highest. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a little look-see. Which one is closest to the belt? Um, 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 this one. That one. That one looks like it goes directly onto it, in fact. Okay, so how do I get to there? Where am I relative to that? Right on the other side. Okay. Um, um, 
am I now? Fuck. Maybe follow, just try and get underneath that. No, I can't, can't see up to know if you're underneath the bell. No. I mean, I can stand and look up over and over again, but whatever. Yeah, that's the one. Ho 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 ho! It's a me, Mariah. Mariah Car. My car is really cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna be waiting. Still a ways away. Canapel uh, says playing Yakuza feels like setting out to go do some bowling, and on the way you get beat up by a giant who steals all your money. And when you try to find him get to get your money back, you get roped into helping a Domina find out how to do her job correctly. In fact, is that is not what it feels like. That is what it literally happened to me once. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so see, this sort of, like, description of things seems like D&D, &D, more so than, like, a video game. It seems like you're retelling, like, a cool story of, like, a... of a thing that could happen in D&D &D that did happen. Like, this series of events that are like, wow! You know, they sort of, like, tickle your fancy. Yeah, I got the skill point while you were reading. Explore the second moon. Oh, lol. Lol, I didn't actually go there. Where do I go? Okay, I take a right, and then I take a slight right, and then I slightly go right. I had uh, this sort of idea um, thing. Uh, Charlie needed, like, an ideas guy, basically, and I was like, okay. Um, and uh, we came up with this idea for a uh, bird game where you're like a pigeon or something and you gotta steal a nut from a squirrel and the nut's like real big it's kinda like that, you know, ice age squirrel is holding it above his head and like a bird swoops down and takes it but you're the bird and you gotta like uh, glide correctly, because if you like flap to control, he'll notice, so you gotta fly good. Where am I fucking going? Grab that nut, and then put it in a nest. What the fuck? d and is actually pretty close to what it feels like to play Yakuza. Yakuza is an RPG through and through, but where other RPGs focus on translating a number game of D&D, &D, Yakuza, Yakuza recreates the whack, wackiness. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Man, I'm not good at explaining things. Well, I mean, did you... Would you have, like, come up with the thing eventually? Like, like the D&D &D comparison? No, I haven't played D&D. &D. Well, there you go. If you if you had played D&D, &D, you may have seen the causal, not the causal link, but like the link between the two. Yeah. So it's just like a lack of knowledge of a th certain thing. Lack of a knowledge of anything to compare it to, really. Yeah. Because that was what I was wondering about. Like, you said it's like One Piece at a time. And I, I was like... Like, I felt like... I guess I said that because I was like, I felt the same amount of, like, emotional connection with a character like that cry moment with the 
long neck giraffe on the you know the nomadic guy. Long. It's it's a horse. Yeah, the long necked horse, the nomad guy, and like it's a silly fucking scene, but it's still fucking tearful. Like lots of wacky shit happens in Yakuza, but like. It can still be fucking heart wrenching, cool, emotional. You get all these fucking emotions all over the place. And it's like, it's just cool. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I liked it. Yeah. But yeah, I will. I will stream it um, at some point. Maybe uh, tomorrow. Cover me, oh, man down. It's all right, Skip. How did he get here, and I had to do all that shit? I mean, no, that blows, man. I would have been here sooner, but I, uh, I encountered some heavy-duty resistance. Enemy troops. Well. Uh, not exactly. The drive through a Galaxy Burger was wicked slow, and... Anyway, looks like that last moon is surrounded by an Omega-class disintegration field. Whatever's going on out there, it can't be good. If I had the right tools, I could hack into that generator and shut the field down. Hey, look... You mean a giant screwdriver? Stand back, bro. I'm like a trained professional and stuff. Don't try this at home. Oh man, it's busted! Oh wait, never mind. Incoming call from the Galactic Rangers. Sarge, Blackwater City is under attack! The noise came out of nowhere! The situation is extremely, uh, it's, um, uh, well, we're pretty much hosed, sir. Rock for your lives! Ah! Sir, requesting immediate assistance! See, it's funny, this is like... There's a there's stuff happening. Blackwater City. The Rangers need our help. Let's go. Like the Rangers <sighs> Shut up. It's cutscene. I think this lock is gonna take a while. Okay. Give us a call if anything comes up. Like it's such a like lackadaisical sort of set of missions going on. Like, yeah, there's a war against the Tyranoids and whatever. But it's sort of like interrupting Ratchet's lead. Like, oh, I gotta go save the troops. And he's gotta go save the troops because I'm a good guy. We must protect the troops. I'm so perfect and heroic. And it's like, yeah, but there's no sense of urgency here if you can just sort of like chill out. I mean, it's not chilling out exactly, but y y you get what I mean? Like, the fight against Nefarious is sort of, like, not really a big thing, even though it is a big thing. It feels like it's sort of whatever. It, it does feel a bit all over the place. Like, instead of just going straight for the head, he's got to save the troops instead of just, like, let the troops... And it's also weird that we defeated the Tyranoid menace, and yet... The Tyranoids are still here and menacingly yeah. so. Yeah, they're not like lessons. They're, they're in fact more powerful. Or the Queen hold them back. Like it makes more sense if like they got real powerful after becoming robots. And maybe they do, but like no, it's just like it's no real reason. The Rhino 3 is so fucking powerful. Yeah. It's fucking vaporized. Incoming babies. Fireworks. It's like they can't even get close. Looks like the noise had enough. 
It's only V2. Like, it's gonna get more powerful. You know, what, what is that even gonna mean? More bullets. No one shot the last boss. It's like, this isn't even that, that much of money to get for, for New Game Plus for challenge mode. Like, I barely saved up. I just didn't immediately buy everything. And I got this. You know, I got all of the sewer crystal half the sewer crystals gave me like a million bolts. No, no, not anymore. Oh no, are they? Can you use a gun? I'll just wait for a little second. Just go down. And you know, enemies come in. It's like one guy, no guys. Huh? I got eighty-one thousand bolts just then. Somebody. I get that it's a joke, but like I kind of wish that they could be cool on their own, just like don't have to. Some, but like even the Galactic Rangers, like in their way, are shitting on Ratchet constantly. Like Sarge, could you please do this for us? Like surely, in a real situation, Ratchet, being the sergeant, would be the one barking the orders and saying, "All right, follow my lead," and you run in. But no, since Ratchet doesn't speak in these things, um, I don't know why he doesn't speak. He could easily speak. He has a voice actor. Yeah. This is a big one. This is a big one. You know, is struggling with one of the babies. Oh yeah, you need to go here to get the gravity boy. Why didn't Wretched already have him? There's just no reason. Cool. And then we go back here to meet Courtney Gaze. I forget whether they said they would do that earlier. Oh no, they, they did. They saw her video. It does feel like a series of distractions. Close, nearly walked right off the edge. Yeah. It's more danger from platforming than there is from any enemy. He outgrew his old ones, but he didn't even grow. Maybe they ran out of magnet. Well, they're not even magnetic, they're just gravity. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 50 years of, of Secret Agent Clank uh, probably made Ratchet's feet twice as big. <laughs> <laughs> Every year they get bigger. I mean, feet get bigger, but like... Like year 100, he just can't walk because it's too fucking big. Yeah, the Rai 3, no. Rai 4? <laughs> he didn't even get out of the gate. <laughs> he didn't fucking even get out of the gate. That is actually really funny. 
some fucking challenge mode. Intalented. Hi. Why you mad? Don't let me do the talking. It is an honor for you to meet me. I mean, you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. Hi. My, my. You're even more gorgeous in person than you are on the hollow agent plank. I've got a few secrets of my own that uh, might need your special investigation. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I will report your concerns to the proper authorities. Oh, Agent Clank, you always know exactly what you Is it really the right thing to do to pick up a celebrity? <laughs> Secret Agent Clank picks you up. If you are willing to provide information on the whereabouts of Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious? Hmm, you have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that part. And I'll tell you anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Star Studios. So, yet again, another sort of fuck ratchet, fuck you ratchet, you suck ratchet moment. Oh, there's, there's new challenges, cool. Maze of Blaze. Dude, we... Wow. I don't even have no idea. What it is? Woo! You nearly got me there, you asshole. What the hell could weed be? What could weed be? Now, where could my weed be? Instead of the queen bee, it's the weed bee. I was doing some weeding in the garden. Haha, <laughs> like toke? No, I mean like dirt. You you smoking dirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> no. I'm missing nothing. Now that's what you call killing that turret. Yeah. Now that's what you call killing that turret. Again. Now that's what you call opening the door. Now that's what you call vaporizing the ninjas. Now that's what you call choosing a direction. Now that's what you call walking Shut place. Up. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. That's what you call backflipping out of a laser beam. And that's what you call vaporizing the laser beam guy. And that's what you call walking continuously into the thing. The and that's Worst what you call going left. Really gets any credit in the end. Huh? But, uh, Fuck. That uh, fucked me up. Volante says that the worst part is that he never really gets any credit in the end. Yeah. It's like this whole, this whole like, angst builds up. Like, as a player, I am ratchet. I don't like the ratchet is shit on constantly. Mm. I want him to get comeuppance. I want something, but no. Secret Agent Clank doesn't get to be the bad guy. Evil Clank does, but like Ratchet isn't angry at Clank. He's accurate. He's angry at Doctor Nefarious. You know, there's no, there's no part. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking certain that they had at one point in development the idea that Evil Clank would be sort of like put tipping Ratchet over the edge where it would be like, alright, that's it. You get everything. You get Secret Agent Clank. I get shit on by everyone. You have Courtney Gears. What the fuck? You know, like, Ratchet should have had a moment like that. Um, but they didn't have it in the game as far as I can remember. And I I feel like I, it would, I would remember it if it happened. So it's like Ratchet gets shit on. Clank doesn't get comeuppance. They beat Dr. Nefarious. There's no message whatsoever. There's no message, no theming. No message of togetherness, no nothing. It's just sort of like a Quark thing. Mm. Instead. Ratchet and Clank is about Captain Quark, and Captain Quark only. Yeah. I did always feel like annoyed with that. I just like... Yeah, it just sucks that... Ratchet gets shit on because like it's no it's fine it. it's fine if it just comes back around. If there was a reason that it was there, like it, it made like sense, or it wasn't 
just that. You know, some kind of narrative more to it, but the, there isn't. It's just... Fuck. When you throw in an inferno, can you also hit? What do you mean with hit? A wrench. Well, obviously, if you throw, you. you that's well, like, I mean, like while you have one thrown out, can you attack with the other one? No. I didn't even notice I had to. Oh my God! Cycling weapons. What the fuck? Uh, It is a nice idea, because it's unique, go. And it forces you to have weapons. Although, if you only have, like, one weapon, this is like, it can't, it can't switch to anything. Mm. You know, you get the two weapons you get at the beginning, the, the shotgun and the, uh, the other thing. Mm. And you run out of one, you go immediately to the other, and that's it. Yeah, I've powered them all up. The only one that isn't is like the infector. That's a big bomb. The buncer. Sniping's a job, mate. Yeah. Good. Good! <laughs> I'm melting. George, sniping's a good dead. Sniping's a dead guy, mate. Me. Dead. Me. Only the avatar can defeat me. Me. <laughs> I like that. Like only the avatar like he's doing the uh the background and then he's there. <laughs> yeah. Me <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, El Toro. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a funny like design with the like the the brazier <laughs> just on his fucking head as a helmet. Fire pit thing. Whoa, I lived, I lived. Don't know how. Can you get caught under the. No, but you can get blurred, and I didn't, somehow. Mm. Oh, fuck off. Now I got the glove of shit. Well, now it's the glove of awesome. Yeah. Oh, they do upgrade significantly. Now they fly. That's basically like the flying guys. Yeah, except the worst. Oh no, not the infector. The worst thing of all. <gasps> Nearly wow. lost my times 20. Haha. <laughs> Fuck! It's going so well. Yeah. Still, though, you got fucking tons of bolts. Is there anything you haven't bought yet? Oh, loads of things. Uh, lots of mega versions of these upgraded things. Like, it's it's weird. Challenge mode allows you to upgrade things a second time. I have not needed to do that yet. Mm. The plasma coil. All of these things are just like oh my terrible fucking camera right now.
They really shouldn't keep that thing for more than one fucking round. The fucking thing sucks. 80,000 bolts. I got 80,000 bolts just playing the level. Counting fucks. So I think this one is like... The Quackinator. No, Sleeping Gas. You just gotta do it. It's basically just timed, but like your health gradually decreases instead of the timer. RC. Car. <laughs> Always annoying, like, oh, we're... all the enemies gone? No. It's just a bunch flying off in the side, you can't get them. That got even more bolts, and it was easier. Destroy all opponents without taking a single hit. Gonna be easy with the yeah. Like the entire side of that fucking thing is immediately destroyed. Just need to be careful where I stand. Oh, it's gonna fucking come out. Oh, wait, it's round eight. Lol. I guess the tower would have been a little bit much. Time to suck. Gay. Guy and then hit you with that same guy. What do you mean? Like you pulled in one of those little guys, but then it looked like that's what hit you. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Like you pulled it close to you, but it damaged you. I was damaged already. Mm. Oh fuck. Is that all? Maybe you this is actually really difficult because you need to spend the ammo after you have it. Maybe if you can hit him in the lava. That's it. Game over. Alright, that sucks. I need like a really powerful suck cannon for that. Mm.
He got a little bit close. A little bit. No, he didn't. He literally <laughs> really did not get a little bit close just because I shot. That is the stupidest, like, funny thing. <laughs> it, did, it didn't have time for me to run out of like they, they chose it, it the. didn't even have time to finish announcing before oh, right. said we have a new champion. Oh, cycling wet. Wait. Yeah, yeah. It's like the damage is capped, so they change. Yeah. But basically, they would be dead in one shot. Four shots. Yeah, a little bit stronger. Fight through waves of... It's just so fucking easy with the Rhino. Yeah. And it's still growing in power. Yeah. Honestly, it's a little too powerful. Yeah, I wonder if there's anything like at full power that can last more than one I've, I bet like Nefarious is like two hits. I don't even think that. No, no, I think he'll be t more than one, I mean, at least. He's got to be more powerful than fucking Scorpio. I don't even remember what Scorpio's moveset is. He's died so quickly. Even before. Yeah. Cycling weapons round. Like, the Annihilator can't even kill these small guys that quick. But the Rhino kills everything instantly. Just like... I think they thought, like, oh, well, you know... They'd never get the Rhino yeah, 3. Yeah, it costs too much, but then you have the bolt multiplier. And it makes it so easy to get, like, I've got more than 2 million bolts right now. Yeah. I mean, I have been winning prizes, but, like, still. Yeah. Get ready for Switch Challenge Bolts! I like this because Inferno Power means you can get hit, um, but not lose the bolt multiplier. And this guy I hate because I, it's hard to dodge him. Oh shit. And there he goes, just in time. There's a mega version I can get. So it's not like it's shit, it's just sort of a little underpowered. He's keeping them in his ass. Whoa, what's weed? He said, oh, he's lighting up like a Christmas tree. Lighting up, oh, okay. Look at those beady little eyes. Got that thousand yard stare. Oh, oh my fucking god, the camera turned around because that was there. That made me distracted. I don't like that it does that. Maybe like before it starts shooting. So you know it's there. Wait. Alright, fuck it. I, it changed from a cycling weapons round to this. I do generally like the combat more in, in 3 than 2, like just movement wise. It's more more responsive, more, you know, more gooder.
I'm just holding it down. It says I've got three ammo. It's just endless ammo. This is a glitch. This is a glitch. Funny, Funny glitch. Now I'm using this. I let go. Because uh, it's hard to attack enemies like this. I like how every single time when he says, we have a new champion, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for, and then it cuts because that's the time period after you win the challenge. So we never hear him say Ratchet. Give it up for, for? Yeah, it just feels like a fuck you. I think it's just an accident. Mm. Like a funny quirk of like two systems that weren't designed together very well. I know how to do that by now. Oh, man. This job is too much fun. There's a platinum vault right there. I see it. Titanium, I mean. Why are you watching? <laughs> what was that? Uh, I was holding my breath. Wow. So cool. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Breath. Haha. <laughs> Breathments. Die. That was it. That's easy pee pee. Yeah. Oh right, there's more of them. You they you unlock them as you do them. Got it. But not shit enough. <laughs> Nothing is shit when you're shat. When you're shat, do the hedgehog. Nothing Gosh, is. William Shatner the hedgehog. I know who that is. You just gonna keep coming out of there, or am I gonna keep shooting you? Both. Whatever. They just never have a chance to do anything. When I first played this game, I thought that it was cool that there was multiple choices, but it turns out that every single one is completely preordained and there is no difference in what the fuck? I got a skill point for that? Maybe it's because I did it real quick. Maybe you didn't get hit. But I did. Did you? Maybe I didn't. It's so unmemorable. It's like, oh yeah, what happened? I killed people? Uh, I Hundred round. Oh fuck. Well, buckle your fuckles, I guess. Mm, we're already on round four. Yeah, but I'm gonna run out of ammo before I get to the end. This is not your only powerful weapon. But it is the most powerful weapon that I have. 
Nah. I like it. I mean, if I lose, whatever. I'll just lose. Where are oh, okay. You don't want to give me Rhino ammo. You're giving me ammo for things I already have full ammo for, which is generally lame as fuck. Yeah. Just fucking destroy it. To go, says, well, Only it. 75 fucking hour. Yeah, jeez. I'm feeling like a scared potato. Like, even when they're so quick, there's so many of them. Yeah. I do remember this being a bitch. Probably just because of, like, ammo problems. Mm. Like, you get to a point where it's like, Oh, timed round, and all of your good weapons are gone. And you have uh, 10 seconds to do it. I had to do that. Would have lost otherwise. It's just another way to make you use weapons a lot that you wouldn't otherwise use. This is this is end game stuff. Like just 
the amount of ammo I need, the amount of different weapons I could probably get with the amount of money I have right now. The armor, fucking upgrade. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Oof. Well, I'm tired. Yeah. I want to call it quilts for today. Got a fat infection like through my neck to my ear. Well, get away from me, infection boy. I'll do that. Good night. Good night. And good night, everybody. Thank you for watching Ratchet and Clank 3 stream. And thank you if you watched my video about stuff.